since last stream. Uh, they are. Let me show you them. Did I show you these ones? I've signed these three who are all in the game. Uh, I know. Play the game. We're actually going to play the game. I've signed these three, which I'll show you now. But yeah, Moy's out. Yeah. Just win a couple of games now and he stays. It's going to be annoying, isn't it? I forgot about there being a game aspect to the stream. Yeah, it, the football chats are really good. Maybe we should do that as a thing and just like chat football a bit. Like it is like really, it's really, it's really, it's a good chat. It is a good chat. All right. I've signed Ovi Ajaria, former Liverpool legend. Might be pushing it slightly. Former Ipswich legend. Former Reading legend. Um, He has signed for uh, a free but he's gonna come in I, I like the fact that he was he's like a proper name or not like a proper name but he there's a we know who he is or i know who he is and i think he looks quite good as a, a metzala as well so we're probably going to use him like this and uh, i think he's going to be all right as an option it's a good chat unless liverpool lose well yeah it's a good chat if liverpool lose we don't do it do we <laughs> you're exactly right <laughs> also before we get into the stream today remember network game tonight yes is that confirmed? Yes. <clears throat> hey, James. Morning, boss, indeed. How you doing, my friend? Hope you're good. Let me do some sub emotes for you. Thank you, buddy. Very, very kind. We've uh, a hype train has just started. We're 93% through level one. Not really ever sure what they mean or, or if they're necessary, but there we go. Ovi Ajaria is a Worcester player. I think that's quite cool. He was playing most recently in the championship. Not last season, the season before. He played no games. He hasn't played football for a while, but there we go. A signing that's not a new gen. Shocking, I know, right? We've also signed Liam Layton, who is... I'm not really sure, but I think another midfielder... Oh, yeah, I know I signed him. He's 17. And I think he's got good potential. This is a money-making scheme, everybody. You might actually develop, but I wonder if they develop because our training facilities are quite crap. Golden Brady! <laughs> if there's a hype train... It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the three months. Bring back the mint. I don't know if we're going to bring back the mint. Uh, used to mix Ajaria and Ojo up. They're quite similar. Yeah, I did think that. I was like, Annie's the masked rapper. No, no, he's not. That's not him. Um, Liam Layton, though, I think is probably a money-making scheme unless he develops and then we can try and... I don't know where we'd use him. He's got three tackling, so I'm not sure I want him in midfield. But 17, Scottish, this much value already. Quite exciting, I think. So are we changing up the tactic or what is the approach this season, Jack? I think we're going to go for the uh, the four one three two. I think we're going to keep it like this, but we're going to move away from the three strikers and go a little bit more pragmatic in the midfield, I think. Nobody here is good as Caratero. Caratero, honestly, might be one of my favourite players that I've had on FM23. Maybe for a long time, one of my new gen faves. I love him. He is going to be so... I love him. So good. That Almeria save, genuinely, I've... Uh, I was playing it a bit yesterday, trying to get up to the point so I can record the next video. It is so much fun. So much fun. Uh, as it's Coronation Weekend, Ajaria's chant weirdly fits the tune of the national anthem. Ovi Ajaria. Ovi Ajaria. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Away from the three strikers, who has corrupted you? I know. I know. But I think this has mainly done it, really. The league, we're predicted to finish 11th. We have no... That's Peterborough's team. We have no players that make it into the Dream 11. I am wondering if this is going to be a challenge. Our two players that would get picked, or our two best players, are Tom Worcester and Dominic May. Speaking of Dominic May, look at that plug there. I've also signed Dominic May. He was on a free transfer. He played 33 games for Salford on loan last year. On loan from Sunderland. He's a Sunderland player, and now we've got him on a free. He looks quite good. Uh, Anfield booing the anthem did not need to be headline news yesterday. No, it did not. Do you know that, like, Liverpool booed the anthem and sang over it in the 90s? So, like, move on. Like, it was obviously going to happen. They're well within their rights to do so. I back them in their decision to do so. Get over it. There you go. I've, that's my, I've spoken my words. Um... Ajari also plays for Reading, nicknamed the Royals, who got relegated this weekend. They did indeed. This boy's a Metzala. He is indeed. This is a Metzala. I think, well, he's a left-sided one. I think he's going to be our starting left-sided Metzala. He looks really good. Look at his value as well, by the way. It looks great. Did you see Klopp's response to it? Yeah, it was pretty good, actually. I thought it was a good response. Um, and I think he kind of, like, 
played dumb a little bit in the right sort of ways. He's like, I'm from Germany. I don't know. I like, it's nothing to do with me. And he's like, it's, it's well, well within their rights. Everyone knew it was going to happen. Get on with it. Which is kind of what I just said, isn't it? Yeah. So I agree with them. Just score some goals in it. Yeah, we could just score some goals, but there you go. You're an Oldham fan. Good for you, Lewis. Those three signs I've made, I was thinking, chat, I think we should do a squad planner because it's actually useful. And I did this with the Almeria save because I, I signed so many, like, loads of people and I wanted to just organise people into where I thought they were going to be. And it was actually really helpful and it helped me to decide what I needed to do for the rest of the window. So we're going to do it together and um, you're going to like it, all right? It's a bit like some, it's a bit like some, uh, some admin, all right? Protect free speech, but not that free speech. Exactly, that's what it kind of is. It's like, well, no, just get over it. But anyway, if you're, if you're that protected of the national anthem, then like sort your priorities out. I can get over to the squad planner if there is a staff admin part. Well, we can look at some staff admin. We can see if we can ask for some more scouts. Let's see. If, if, we, if the board say yes, we will do some staff admin. I'm going to ask for another physio or two. Can I get a club doctor? We can ask for some more sports scientists. If they say yes and give us more, we can try and do this. All right? The crap national anthem. I oh, know. It is crap. <clears throat> God save the king. He's about 98 anyway. So, like, what are we going to do singing a song for him? Dakota, thank you for gifting a sub to... Uh, I think it must have been a random one. To Joe J Jory Wit. Thank you very much, Kakota. Very, very kind of you. I think that was to keep the hype train going, wasn't it? Thank you, buddy. Uh, thoughts on that Van Dyke tackle? Uh, which Van Dyke tackle? The one where he got a yellow? Because if so, that's just a nothing tackle. Uh, Lawrence Fox, Fox tried to ban someone who'd had a go at him, then posted everyone had a right to free speech. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. Interesting one, isn't it? Interesting one. Yeah, that one. Uh, no thoughts on it. It was just a foul. Are we going to do that about every foul in every game? <laughs> what? It was a bad challenge. No. <laughs> if you think, do you think it's a red? Because that is laughable. <laughs> that is, that might be the worst football opinion I've ever seen. Um, That's maybe too far. But there we go. Thank you for the five gifted subs today. That's very, very kind of, uh, of all of you. Is it five? No, it just says it there. Hype train completely level five. Five sub gifts. All right, there's just five subs. There you go. Thanks, unfollowing. <laughs> Fair play. Um, Crack on, my friend. Crack on. Uh, as a United fan, I hate United fans who say if that's Casemiro, it's a red for every tackle ever. I kind of understand it because I actually, I don't actually hate United fans who say that because I, it's true. It's blocked as well. Fair, do you know what? Fine. Uh, 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 banned. <laughs> What the hell was that? That was weird, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. I think um he might be um yeah um but like the Van Dyke one is just never read. No 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 um what I was gonna say the Casemiro one you see so many tackles that do go in that don't get a red card that you you must feel like that's that's really frustrating. Casemiro's by the way was a red card. That's the thing that is very very true here. But also I understand the frustrations of United fans. Who were like, watch it, a, that skip tackle go in and go, well, Casemiro would have, would have been sent off. Not that he would have been sent off. Maybe the wording is a bit annoying, isn't it? But like the Casemiro fan, the United fans who then go, Casemiro got sent off for less than that, which is true. So it's just, a, it's just, that's the thing, isn't it? So I get their frustrations. I kind of am all right with it. Um, very true, Kenny Hart. So weird over that. I don't know what that means. Lewis didn't, does need a Snickers, doesn't he? Um, right. CJ, did you... You're talking to each other. Um, I've asked for some more staff members then. If they do come in, then uh, we can do a staff re-admin. We can do some staff admin. Um, yes, and S Skip should have been gone. Exactly, exactly. And like, there's plenty of other examples of that. I'll throw Fabinho in in the FA Cup. Definitely should have gone. Uh, Milner against City should have gone. And there's Liverpool ones there, just to show you that I think that. And then... They're, they're, some of these are not as bad as Casemiro. Why did Casemiro get sent off? He only had his ha both hands around his neck. Grr. Yeah, that was a weird one. I didn't watch that game, so I've got less of a, an opinion on that one. But um, I've just seen a lot of like very clipped parts of it and uh, the stills, which never really give you the full story, did they? Liverpool versus Fulham should not have been a pen. I disagree. <laughs> I think it is a pen. Um, I'm a Liverpool fan, so bear that in mind. But it does catch him i know he doesn't catch him in the way that it like he doesn't like swing and hit his leg but he catches him with his hip so it is just a foul 
Um, so I think it is a pen, and he does go down quite a or quite heavily, and and exaggerate it. But you, I, I'll always say this: you have to, otherwise you don't get a pen. So it's like one of those where I think it is just a foul, though. Like he swings at the ball, Nunes nips in in front. It is just a, it is a penalty. I understand why people would look at it and go, "Oh, it's really soft," but it is a penalty for me. <clears throat> um. Is it a foul? Was it in the box? Then it's a pen. Yeah, exactly, right? If that's anywhere else, no one is debating if it's a, a foul, is it? Which I also don't really love that that argument, but yeah. The ref after halftime said it wasn't a pen. No, CJ. A Fulham player said, the ref told me, uh, told one of my teammates that it wasn't a penalty. Do you, do you not see how he might have a vested interest in that? And think, why would the ref say that? Just like, here, lads. Uh, is, is a funny one. No, no, come here, come here. You know that penalty? Wasn't one. Not still the same. You're um you're being you're being a hater. And also, it doesn't matter what the ref says. It that it wasn't a penalty. The ref that it doesn't mean it's not a penalty because it it was. <laughs> it's like we've got a video of it and it was. So it literally doesn't matter whether he thinks it was or not. <laughs> like, do you not see the point? The the problem with that. The uh the video evidence suggests that no, it definitely was. English refs are dreadful. I thought Anthony Taylor was dreadful yesterday. Like, really bad, actually. But on, like, really low-level stuff. Like, let the game get away from him. But that's another another conversation. Um, Let's do this squad planner, because I think it's going to be helpful. We're going to go through position by, by position. Uh, Can I go back? How do I change current season? I want to see this, but I want to see... This is what I want to do. In this formation here, let's go through so that we can see what... um What... What positions we need. All right. Goalkeeper. First choice is going to be Tom Worcester. I still think we want to sell Carlos McKenzie if we can. He's wanted, but no one's made a bid yet. I've just offered him out again. So this is the thing. It's been reported that the refs never said it. Of course he didn't. Why would he? That makes no sense that he would say it anyway. Um, I nearly tweeted about that and I was like, I'm not doing that on, on Twitter. I don't need people coming at like football Twitter opinions in my in my you know, inbox. Don't need it. Uh, we've got such a bad standard that Michael Oliver is the best. It's really bad, isn't it? Right. Uh, Mackenzie, I'm going to try and sell. If is, Do we have another ge another keeper? Uh, we've got Sam Vassal, Vassal, and Kev Sheffield. Corruption, obviously, yeah. I think we'll just use one of those if we do sell him. Maybe look at another one if we do sell him. So that's what we need to do. Who's the backup keeper then? Yeah, exactly, Carlson. If he goes, we'll get a new backup keeper. Just maybe a youngster if possible. Kev Sheffield is a fantastic name though. You are you are very right on that. We should definitely have a look at him. He's a he's not even real. Kev Sheffield. Someone's called their sixty their kid. There's a sixteen year old called Kev, <laughs> which I love, and that's his full name. It's not Kevin. It's Kev. Oh, by the way, I wonder if he's on my game here. I signed a scout on... Uh, is it this guy? No. Oh, then maybe it is. I think I signed this guy as a scout on the El Maria save. And I love the fact that he's Spanish and he's just called Davo. Which is like what you call your mate Dave down the pub. Oh, Davo. Because he's called... Antonio David Alvarez Ray, but he's just called Davo, which I think is just that is phenomenal. And he plays for Visla Plock, which is also a fantastic name. So yeah, Davo, there he is. <laughs> Davo is the, the Spanish Chelsea Lee. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um I think Tom Kenny really, really did believe it though. My guess is teammate told him that to fire him up second half, put a chip in shot. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that he's lying. It's just one of those things that sometimes can happen. Maybe the referee had said something like, "I'm not sure if it is." Like he was told in his ear that it was. Or you know, do you see what I mean? And then the the other player took it as he told me it wasn't these Chinese whisper type thing. It just it is a thing, isn't it? Dave, we'll get the points in, would you? Mine's a lager. Kev Sheffield and Davo. Yeah, I imagine. Right. Anyway, keepers. We sign a backup keeper if we sell Carlos McKenzie. Plan. Right back. Let's just remove everyone who's not a right back from here. And you're not signing. These are our right back options. Uh, I actually didn't, Breezy. I think I was so careful. Did you notice with the way that I phrased everything in that, that Twitter thread that 
so that I was like, this is not my opinion. These are genuinely the things that Klopp is, at, Klopp, Klopp is angry at. There's a few people, but I sort of just said like, these, I, I don't think this. And I tried to make sure that like, I was like unbiased at the end. That I was like, I actually don't think that Tierney hates Liverpool. I think that Tierney's crap sort of thing. But there we go. Uh, you're right back. You're right back. You're Aaron, Aaron Connolly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so actually not that much. Surprisingly, surprisingly. But I thought the storylines there worth like tweeting about because I think it's like quite interesting that how how far back it goes and how many weird decisions there have been between Tierney and, and Klopp. You probably could do it with a lot of different refs and a, doff, a lot of different managers anyway, but there you go. I saw it taking shape and thought, bloody hell, this is brave. Yeah, I was very careful. And actually, yeah, it shows that maybe it was like, a, well, I don't know, reasoned argument that I didn't actually get too much for it. But I, I was thinking the same thing as well. Um, oh, hang on a second. That just texted me saying, do you have Lenny? I do. He is here, by the way. Lenny is... Can you see him? There. Lenny! No, nope, doesn't care. He, we do have Lenny up here. <clears throat> uh, how you doing, Bill? Thank you for the eight months, my friend. Very, very kind of you. Hope you're well. Lenny's in the room. It's taking you 40 minutes to tell us. I know. I'm sorry. He is. Yeah, Lenny is here. <laughs> I don't believe Tierney's bias. I think it's just all for referee referees. More of our games than others. And it feels like bias. Exactly. This is my thing. I think he, he is a crap ref. He referees a disproportionately large amount of Liverpool games. Probably because he's fairly local. And thirdly, I think he hates Klopp. Which you can hate Klopp and not be biased, by the way. I think because they've had enough run-ins, I think he probably does treat him with a lot of disdain. And I think he's probably quite an arrogant bloke anyway, Paul Tierney, the way the impression I get of him. So I think that rubs him up the wrong way. And Klopp is very combative. So I can understand why people wouldn't like him if you're doing things that are going to annoy him. So I think all of those things probably feel go into it. And I don't think he's purposely being biased. But I think when he gives a bad decision, he then doesn't own it. It doesn't say... Yeah, no, sorry about that. I was just calling it the way I was. I think he's then arrogant about it, which makes Klopp think he's really biased against him. Does that make sense? That's what I actually feel like anyway. Right back. Have we got any other ones? I just want to check. Um, no. Have you seen the supposed Arsenal away kit? I haven't. No. We're going to go. First choice, Lado. Second choice, we've loaned in this guy called Cullen. Third choice, we've got Com Kelly, who is probably a centre-back. So I think I'm, I'm going to actually leave him out of here, but he could play there. So we got, I want to make sure we got two of these. Uh, it's, it, it's awful. I hope it's just the warm-up kit. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. That is bad, isn't it? I reckon that'll look quite cool on the pitch, though, but it is bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, uh, I've not seen that until now. Uh, Liverpool's new kit has white outlines on the sleeves and collar. White outlines on the sleeves and collar. What do you mean, Ollie? I, I hope you just don't mean like they're white, but like... The, I, I like the Liverpool kit, by the way. I think it's really good. Oh, there's the home kit. Have you seen the home kit as well, have you? It'll be the first even... Yeah, I think it will be the first Adidas Arsenal miss. I think there's been some that have been a bit meh, but definitely bad. That'll be the first one, yeah. They're usually really good. In conclusion, Tierney's shit and Klopp is taking it a little personally, which is understandable. Yes. Probably, no, probably not even a little personally. He's taking it personally, which is probably on Klopp, and that's wrong. Agreed. Um, we, oh, yeah. this For this, I want to make sure there's at least two players in each position that we've got. And then, then from there, I think we've got a good squad. Right centre-back. I'm going to split them to right and left centre-back in here. Let's remove all the ones that are left centre-backs. So you're left-footed, aren't you, Alfie Pons? So you can go on the left. Ibsen Robson, I think, is first choice. Stephen Cullen is a right back. Tom Davis is our other option, as long as you're right-footed. These two. I like it too, but the outlines do catch your eye. Okay. Yeah, no, I like I like them. I, I really like the, the Liverpool kit. I think the price is hideous and exploitative. Um, agreed, but I also think that's weird that that's got some press. Like, I feel like every kit of like a Premier League, or let's say like a liverpool size team, you're going to have about 75 quid for a, for a stadium kit. And I think that's, I think that's been the case for ages, right? Uh, enjoy Breezy, I've seen a bit. It, no? I know, like, people have been posting the, um, the Vapor kits and things at 115 that are, that are way too expensive. But no one buys those ones anyway. Like, those have been like that for ages. I think 75 is what it's been for a while, no? And I think you're going to find that, like, any other Nike kit of, like, who else is Nike in those, those top few teams in the league? They'll have the same thing. 
That's more Nike than Liverpool. Yeah, I think I think people have again. It's it's it, it's been a bit exaggerated. It is crap, but I think it's that's a football world wide thing. It feels a bit to me, and maybe this is just because I'm a Liverpool fan. It feels like Liverpool bad. Let's look. Here's another stick that we can beat Liverpool with a little bit of like the kit thing. I was like this past week i've been like literally anything that happens i'm like oh look there's that's big news oh look that's big news oh look the nunez foul which is clearly a foul in the box that's big news whereas like rashford dived yesterday has anyone seen much about it although actually since then i've seen loads of people saying uh, if this was anyone else there would have been loads of said about it but as soon as everyone says if this was anyone else loads of people be talking about it if everyone says that everyone is talking about it anyway we, we digress make a wreck some save any good advice of the training facilities or something else. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Mortison. Training facilities, yeah. Try and just keep improving them. Look for free transfers would be the advice. Big Sam's comments. That's big news. They were hilarious. Have you seen the Brent one? Like, you know that guy that does all the Brent impressions? Have you seen his of Big Sam? It's honestly like, Christ. Have some self-awareness. But I think it's deliberate, isn't it, from Big Sam? Like, fair play to him. Own it. Fair play. Uh, Left centre back. Do we have any more? We might do. I'm going to move these out. Do we have any left centre backs then? Uh, you're a left back. No is maybe the answer. Do you need to upgrade something? I don't know what Wrexham's facilities are like at the moment, but probably, yeah. I'd probably try to do so. I think we need another left sided centre back because none of these guys are. Left back, left back, left back. Not very good. Leaving. Right back, right centre back, right centre back, right back. So there's something we do need to look at. Because when those guys leave, and I think I'm going to try and sell, sell a few of them, left centre back is something we're going to need. Left backs. Um, we have three. I think Vontae Williams is going to go. Oh, he's listed. I think we're going to try and sell him. Reese Devine second. Uh, I just don't like, I don't think Vontae Williams is good enough anymore. I think we're going to try and sell him. Let's do unspecified transfer list and let him go. Season ticket prices are up, so I doubt the kits won't be won't go up a couple of quid. Yeah, 100% sure. It was a £5 rise. Yeah, I've seen that. That's why I got the press. I'm sure others will do the same, though, and you're right. Yeah, exactly. Um, He said before, playing us, if he was at City, he wins the treble. Yeah, I saw that as well. He said before... um. Yeah, take attention away from the players, maybe giving himself too much credit. Managers do these things. If, like, it, I, I don't... Even just as a little bit, if, like, people buy into him a little bit, it's it, it kind of makes... It can go both ways, but he's got enough... He's Big Sam, isn't is, there's enough There's enough of an enigma about him there that people t kind of take it as a bit of a joke. So, if that's a new manager, if that's, like, Potter at the start of this season, people are making him a meme, taking the mick out of him. With Big Sam, it's like, what a legend, you know? Um, left backs, we will have two of them, so we don't really need one. DLP. And the goal selector. Panada, Flett are probably the two that I'd play here. Of course, we with these midfielders, we could do we could do a few different um options. Like they can play in other ones. But let's just let's plan out the squad so that we've got two in each position, right? DLP, Flett, and Panada. If Flett had interest, I might sell him. But I don't think we need to. I think we keep hold of him as an option. 100% uh, England record, Sam, exactly. Project Full Williams backline is being scrapped. I think it is, yeah. Sorry, Dirty Dog. I think it has to be. <laughs> Players need to play without all the pressure, put it all on the temporary manager. Yeah, right? <clears throat> if Ryan Mason comes out and said that, he's crucified. Yeah, exactly. Ryan Mason's a moany little bloke, though, isn't he? God. Moaning. <laughs> whining whiny little man anyway um wow that's a lot of midfielders let's remove all of these and uh start from the start on this i think we've got a cm attack in fact i'm going to remove all of them on this and then put them back in because that's a lot of midfielders but they are all all like overlapping and things and some won't be, won't be on these lists you consider what he's done in his career big sam has done more, more than arteta that that is true yeah what's the live efl league one game today i don't know Good question. Right, right side. In fact, left sided. We'll do this first because we've got a couple of really good left sided centre mids. They are Dominic May. Sounds like a Top Gear presenter, but he is on. He's really good and left footed. So I think we get a left footed one on this side. Other one is Owen Dalton. 
who is also left-footed. Great options on the left-hand side here. Right-hand side, we are going to have... Um, right, this is a bit tricky now. We've got Ovi, definitely. We've got... Now, going through these, Fiorini needs to go somewhere. McGonagall needs to go somewhere. Owadani needs to go somewhere. These guys are strikers. So I think we put Jamal through the middle. Is Ajaria not a lefty? He's Oh, he might actually be, yeah. Oh, no, he's more righty. He's very strong right foot, left foot strong. He's either footed, which is actually really good. It's because he plays off the left, but I think inside inverted, right? So, yes. Um... We can, we can use him on the right-hand side, so that makes sense. Good point, though. Good to check that. Um, to be fair to him, with his head injury, I can forgive him being a bit more moanier than most about the Jota thing. Yeah, no, I get, I get him moaning about that. Um, Reese, how you doing, buddy? But also, like, there's plenty more that he was moaning about that wasn't that. Um, other midfielders on this right-hand side, then. Shall we put... Is Fiorini right or left-footed? Let's put Fiorini here. And then in the middle... If we put Uwadani. Who did I start in here? I think, yeah, I think Uwadani there. And then who's, maybe Fiorini's a backup for that, actually. And we're going to rotate these, aren't we? So it won't necessarily be backup, it'll be rotation. I think actually Fiorini there, which means right-hand side, is it McGonagall? Does McGonagall go there? And then is that all of our midfielders? Except for Brogdon, who I've transfer listed. Professor Emil McGonagall goes there. Fletting agent CM I've put in here at DM. He can play DM as well, Dirty Dog. Professor McGonagall can go as backup on this side. Loads of potential on, on Professor Emil McGonagall, by the way. And he's 22. And then it just leaves Stephen Brogdon, who... I think we're going to try and sell because he's now, what, six choice? And says he's going to leave anyway. Let's let, let's offer him out as well. I saw Nye Kirby. Yeah, Nye Kirby we've got in on trial at the moment. I'm not sure he's good enough to, 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 to bother. <clears throat> no, we cannot sign gifts here, no. Eric Dye dropped yesterday. Spurs kept a clean sheet, surprising nobody, yeah. Uh, I just think that is unattainable potential. With, um, with who? With Nia Kirby? Or just, just anyone? Uh, with the, oh, the potential for, um, M McGonagall? Yeah, probably, probably. We'll see there. Hopefully, like, his value is good because of that, and we can maybe sell him for a little bit, but I think he's going to be a backup or one of our midfield options. Um, then up front, strikers, let's go back to this. Do you see why this is useful? It does give you a good idea of what, like who's needed and who's not needed and where you need people. I think it is actually, I really like it. Left side of centre-back is the one that I didn't realise we needed another one. I think we definitely do. And then up front, let's remove all of these because that is a lot of them as well. We're going to have right-hand side, Linville Jackson. In fact, which way round did I do them? Jackson on the left, he's left-footed. So Linville Jackson's going to be on the left. And then he's five foot two. He is five foot two, yeah. Um, Linville Jackson's going to go here. What? Why can't I put Linville Jackson there? That's weird. Is it because he's on loan? That was weird. He's going to go there, and Judge is going to go here. And let's do two on each side. Who is the backup for Leon Judge here? Yeah, we're in League One now. Why can't I do strikers? Is this broken? Why can't I do strikers here? It's because they're not listed as strikers because they're listed as midfielders because of these. I think it might be. We'll have Callum Allen. And then left-hand side, we'll have... There you go. It's attackers again now. We'll have... Is it McNeely? Or is it Seward? Because I think we're trying to sell McNeely, but I don't know. He's, he's, he wants to leave... McNeely probably is the backup, but let's see if... Why is he valued at 1.3 million? Let's just see what happens there. It's probably to now, but if we can get good money for him, I think we sell him. And we could maybe... Do we need one more striker? Is this what we're saying? 
Good judge can only be a striker and isn't on the left. It is an attacker. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, we've maybe are we a little bit light? I know we've got loads of strikers, but would we want to play any of them? For example, would we want to play like Chucky or? Well, Chucky is the other option. Or Seward. Is Seward good enough to start? Let's put Seward in as third choice here. He's not that far off Denal, actually. And he is a legend. I think he can stay, but I think he's third choice. Anyone but Seward. I mean, the song does, does make that a thing, right? <laughs> a keeper, a left centre back and a striker missing. I wonder if we do need one more striker. Striker? Oh, Callum Allen plays on the left. Let's just swap McNeely and Callum Allen. Not that it really matters, but you know what I mean. Um, let's put Callum there before Seward. And then let's put uh, McNeely. You here? Yes, there. We need six for the occasional spanner push for that extra goal in the 87th minute. There is that, isn't it? I get a right striker. I think you're right. Judge needs a little bit of competition, doesn't he? So I think right striker left center back so let's have a look for a left center back now we've got loads left by the way loads transfer budget this was the thing we were trying to do of course if we can go and get billy mckenna should we pay money <laughs> is that just dumb though because it uses our money which we don't have a lot we've got 1.6 mil do we go and buy billy mckenna or is that just silly he would be good or does he then get in ahead of judge and then like we do we need like a young one to be back? He is young. What's his actual potential? Yeah, I actually don't know. We need his scouting required, don't we? Um, When's this scouting going to come back? I think he's going to be really good though. Just by like, look how good he is. Not quick, but would I reckon he'd score loads. Doesn't even have good finishing. I think he'd score loads though, right? Good strength, balance. Off the walls. These are like high 15s for things here. 15 jumping, uh, 15 heading. 15 composure, 15 off the ball, 14. It's like, that's a good striker. Scored goals already as well, which is always a, a useful little thing to look at. A shamrock. He would cost between 130k and 1.3 million. It's just whether we can actually go and spend actual money on him. Like, they want. he's got a release cause of 475k. His name fits Eleanor Rigby by the v Beatles. Billy McKenna. He does, doesn't it? He's so worth it. Is he worth 400k, though? It's We are smashing our entire... <laughs> I mean, that's we can't even afford that, can we? Beyond worth it. Could we afford it if we go to this? We'd have... We can't even afford that, though, is the thing. We'd have to try and structure it, but I don't know if they even accept it if we structure it. Like, I don't know what we're waiting for in terms of, like... For him to want... I, d I don't know. Wants to move, wants to leave. Can you loan him? I think, I don't think so. Maybe we could. With a future fee. Wait for McNeely sale. Yeah, maybe that's what we're waiting for. I'm I remember that like we're waiting on something. If we sell McNeely and get money for him, then we can maybe, maybe afford him, can't we? Should we make him our target? And maybe try and do something here. And spend... What team spends 500k on a player in League One here? What are we doing? It would be cool that he does look good. Big Billy. Not even that big. Billy McKenna. I, he looks like he could be a club legend though for me. By the way, I don't think I'm going to. But should we do real faces? It, but like, I could still put the, the wig on them. But like... For some of our play, you know, like I was using mid journey, probably won't because there's so many and it would take eight. Like, I reckon we just keep them in this save as our boys. But I did wonder. I did think about it. He could be the next hands. Yeah, hands would be great. <laughs> right. We're quite a big team still. Look, six, four, six foot, six, five, six, four, six, two, six, two, six, one, six foot, six. I mean, you're a bench player, but still six foot. We're quite a big team with Callum Allen as well. Look. I, f I tried that new gen out not long ago and quite liked it. The new gen um, face pack. I don't love the face pack, but I do like making my own ones because I can make them look like exactly how I want to. But yeah, now we know those faces. Now I agree, Oli. I agree. I'm glad that you, you're like you're on the same line as me. I agree. We know what Judge looks like. We know what Uadani. We've like 
not, I mean, you're not a new gen. We've learned to know what these players look like, haven't we? So I think we keep them. I agree with you. Um, CBA doing it every season. Yeah, we loaned out, by the way, Barry Trainer because I'm not really sure why, but we've loaned him out. Let's look for a left centre back. Kind of don't want to spend too much in case we can get Billy McKenna, but left centre back. Why is there a thing here? Name contains Billy. I think we were looking for him. <laughs> um, this is, is this people who've got to get a work permit? Hopefully. I think so. Liam Scales, left only. Oh, you're this guy. Does this guy get a work permit or is it just because I don't think he does? This guy's like fast and tall. Scales all right, all right, all right, IRL, is he? Does he like his shoes? What? <laughs> Alfie Pond has been really good. Just need a backup. Yeah, this is true. He has been really good. Oroz is moving me. Look at him. I don't think he gets a work permit, though. Also, he's not interested. Brilliant. Uh, let's see if he'll come in on a trial. I l he's 6'4", with 16 jumping reach and 16 pace. That is ridiculous. Liam Scales. is a bit meh, but is, I guess if we're looking for a backup... Albi Armin is left footed. Can't really jump. Um, you're on a free, which helps. Saka's right footed. Seb Naylor. What about Jake Manners? You're right footed, but you look like you're pretty good. Six foot five. Oh, you said about a guy called Trainer. Got what you mean. Oroz is also a real boy. This is true. Yeah. 15 acceleration on Oroz is outrageous. We'll, we'll see if he'll join on a trial. Only eight, eight heading on this guy, but, and also would probably cost a lot of money, but Jake Manners looks quite good. Um, where's the best jumping reach guy that's left footed? In fact, should I just look at just left footed? Yeah, except for the, um, that's it, isn't it? Except for that, it would have been great. Um, third foot is left <laughs> no it's not as funny when you have to explain the joke but that happens a lot doesn't it where i'm like what hey what are you talking about <laughs> right these guys anyone jumping out not really looking at the pace and the jumping reach on these guys this guy maybe i'm in famuo as a backup he's on a free he's a real boy but he could be a backup rossi at sutton let's have a look at rossi <laughs> Um, this guy, Rossi Haslam, slow as a train. Actually, his train's quite quick. Very aggressive. I don't love the fact that he's got nine acceleration, though. I think we can get better. I'm kind of tempted by, um, by Famuo, you know. Saw 12 pace, nine acceleration is bad, yeah. Luke Chambers can't jump as much. That's why I like the look of this, look. What about a gongbo? Again, real guy. That's a solid backup. Not on a free, though. So it would cost us money. So maybe not. 17 decision making, though. Yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't get to the point where he can make a decision because he's too slow to get there. Thought by hype because you're, you're also getting sub 5 foot 10 um, things. Yeah, I mean, I think we can see the heights on here, though, can't we? I think we're like, I think I don't mind doing it this way. Daniel Cox is tall. Real player without a photo. What's going on there then? What's going on there? Hmm. I think really we want a, a, a freebie as well, don't we? If we're going to get a backup. It's not a good sign of this context. No, it's not, is it? This is true. Um, what about Alkan Bagot? Who's from Indonesia. He's six foot six. He's called Alkan Bagot. He's played in England, so he is ugh, possibly not going to get a work permit. Says he would. We want the occasional opportunity. What do we reckon of Alcum Baggett? He's homegrown. There you go, then. He's played loads. Look. He's been here since forever. So, yeah, there you go. Um, Famwo might be the guy then. What do we reckon between Famwo and Alcum Baggett? <laughs> I just love saying his name. Uh, where is Famuo? Fairly close, actually. We've got the aerial of Alken. 
Defending and mental speed of Famuo. Welcome to the source. Anybody specifically? Let's just look at maybe... We play with ball players, don't we? No. That's El Maria. Uh, central defender. Defend. <clears throat> yeah, you do, do need to be careful with it. Yeah, when in doubt, get both. I'm not sure we need both. Um... The jumping reach of 17 does jump out at me. The pace of 14, though, and 14 jumping reach, I do think that's really good. Who would want a cheaper wage as well, I think, is a thing, isn't it? The report says... I haven't got a scout report on you. 1.1 to 1.5 would be happy at being a backup, I think, as well. How come back it sounds like a hobbit, which is ironic given his size? He does, doesn't he? I agree. Um, right, poll, quickly. Help me decide... Back up, LCB, The Hobbit, or Akin? Find out more on Famuo. Yeah, maybe we should. Let's give him a scout. In fact, I could probably, probably be quicker to, uh... Ollie! No! Famuo's probably better. Let's get, um... Where's Famuo gone? Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. I don't know why I couldn't see that then. Let's give him a trial as well. We'll probably learn stuff quicker if we give him a trial. Uh, all right, let's continue because I think we've looked at things. Put the attributes car comparison back on, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. We're going to sell this guy. His value's at 35 to 250k. What do you reckon we can get out of this here? Keeper as well. Yeah, it's only if that keeper leaves though, isn't it? Let's see if we can get this. And... All right. Didn't work. I'll do 35k if we can have that 50%. That's where we make our real money. I've had enough of you guys. <laughs> you didn't even say anything. No, you didn't. You just said poll wink. And everyone now knows, Ollie, what you, what you mean when you start talking about polls. I, I hate... Ridiculous. Tie, uh, also, Stephen did say tie the vote, people. It's because you uh, you didn't show the attributes. I did show the attributes. You just missed it. Um, Famuo. Compare with Alcan Baggett. Attributes. A CD defense. There you go. It's because we didn't have the details on what Famuo wants to sign. This is true, yeah. My vote is for The Hobbit. Thank you. <laughs> we need a tie emote. Oh, we actually do. Like a, it's a tie so that you can spam it. I like that. Although that does run re render every single poll that we ever do redundant. So there is that. That's actually, oh, there you go. You just use the giraffe. Isn't giraffe tier two though? Or is it tier two? Yeah, it's tier two. So <clears throat> that's a tie emote. You'd have to be tier two to use it. Fantastic incentive, yeah. <laughs> Ollie says Famwo. I lean towards Famwo as well. Famwo's better. Should we just sign? I'll, well, I've offered him a trial. Let's see if he'll come on trial first. We can see if there's any major things like injury prone or something, I guess. It's going to be a backup. It really probably doesn't matter, does it? But let's see. Let's see if we get any more bids as well. Don't think we do, which is annoying. Famwo rejects us. Oh, look, we can do some staff admin. We've got some more some more uh, staff members to try and get. All right, then. Uh, we're keen on signing. Okay. Forget about it, everyone. We're getting the... We're getting... Looks like we're going to get the Hobbit. He's rather uncertain about joining us. He wants 4.3k a week to 5.75k a week. He wants to be a star player. I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, this is why he said find out more. He wants loads. Take it back. All right. Where are you, Alk in the bag? Alk in the bag. Fringe player. 1.4k. You know what? If you play a game, have a little bit more. You know, if you don't play, you know, we don't even need to do that. 
One season. Oh, you can get two years, mate. Might be able to sell you then. You want, you're want? you going to want more than that, though, if you have that. Come on in. Alk the bag. Get away from me, famwo. Oh, I forgot. We're going to do staff admin. Staff admin, everybody. We have got another one scout to go and find. How exciting. We've also got another one physio to go and find. How exciting. Staff admin. That's players. Just That's just muscle memory of looking, of search, clicking on this button here. I, I'm not sure there's anyone in the game who clicks this button more than I do. <laughs> the YouTube comments on the Al Maria save are like, Jesus Christ, the signings. I'm like, wait till the next episode. Uh, staff search. <laughs> this is the best day ever, finding more staff. Yes. We have got, let's go and get a new scout. No, I do it a lot. I mean, I feel like we're all very similar then. If you watch this a lot, then you're probably very similar. Um, let's get rid of adaptability because it's pointless. Are we going to get any really good scouts? We got a really good... I still can't believe our director of football is as good as he is. He's so good. It is my job as the DOF. Exactly. That's true. What about Neil McGuinness? who might be going to West Brom. But let's see if we can convince him to come here. As a re we, pro we can't. No, I'm not even going to bother with that. Uh, he wants a lot of money and to be chief scout. He looks like the best scout by a mile, though. Kevin Ball. Is that Claude Puel? Why is Claude... He wants to be a director of football. Let's see if he'll come and be a... He will! Okay, we can't give him the money he wants, but Claude Puel would come and be a scout for us, which seems ridiculous. If we don't get relegated, Claude, you get 6k. Come on. Will the lads join? That's actually a really good point. Uh, we'll check after and we'll just sack people if we need to. You get 50%. Okay, I might need to ask the board for more money. Because this is... This is silly. Alright, we're not getting him. You got Sarri as a coach once, did you? Nigel Pearson? He's an emu. Nigel Pearson, scout. He's not even that good, but he's in. Welcome, Nigel. <laughs> we did check the lads last week. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Has it? And that was since the tick over, wasn't it? So, yeah. Right. <clears throat> Nigel Pearson is joining as a scout for us. He's not even the best on this list here, but do you know what? Worth it. Let's look at the... We can get a new physio as well, can't we? Physio, physio, physio. Well, to be honest, I could probably do this myself. Physiotherapy. Make it 20. Is there anyone? Richie Partridge, Liverpool legend Richie Partridge. I think you'll find. Get him in. No, we are not. You want too much money, Richie. Right, uh, you're the only one who's on a free as well. What about Ian McKinley? Ian McKinley. Yeah, you'll do. No, no uh, compensation either. We take it. You're in. Emu, Pearson, there's no Emu. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Ian McKinley is always decent, isn't he? You got both Klopp and Guardiola as scouts on the last FM on your long-term save. That's brilliant, isn't it? Is it Ostrich or is it Emu? What did he say? Was it Ostrich or Emu? Well, it, I think it might have been Ostrich, actually, wasn't it? It was Ostrich, yeah. <clears throat> have to see if I can find the save to be sure, but I, I think I had Mourinho as a scout in one save this year. You definitely can. That's why in the, um, in the DOF save... I'm like, I'm not going to do the thing where I use the editor to get a um, to get a, a new assistant manager in. Because I think the further you go into the save, the more and more you get real proper managers that will be assistant managers for you. Like, we got Will Still as well, who was a manager, and we got him in as the assistant. I'd rather do it authentically because I think it's better. The coffee is not just warm, Ollie. It's actually a bit hot. It's an unbelievable product, honestly. Look, you can see. Can you? Oh, shit splashed a bit on the keyboard can you see the steam rising from that coffee we are an hour and nine minutes into the stream and there is still steam coming from my coffee that is a product not saying the name of it though you saw it splosh out a bit there yeah <laughs> Javi Garcia at one point I can become one yeah he definitely can I think Javi Garcia we got as a, a scout didn't we Remember when Pearson strangled James McCarthy for no reason? Yeah. Do you remember when, um, who was it? Like, do you remember when Alan Pardew elbowed someone or headbutted, headbutted someone, didn't he? I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I know he got a ban. But people sort of like, 
Like, people st like look, making out that Klopp... Yeah, it was David May my though, wasn't it? Klopp making out that Klopp is, like, the worst thing ever for shouting in an assistant's face. Which, by the way, I don't condone. And it is, it is a bit crap from Klopp. But certainly not an isolated incident. Like, the referee... That... that that Jarg Referees Union, by the way, which is so tin pot. If you actually go and look at that account, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know why that's made the news, the referees charity or whatever it is, because that is the most tin pot account ever. Go and look at it. And it is basically just like propaganda for like hating Jurgen Klopp. Madness. Anyway, and people do like uh, uh, moaning at Klopp. And also there is a business side to this, which is it gets loads of clicks. So of course it's going to make news, which is annoying, but true. Anyway. But yeah, nastiest person ever. The news that people like talking about it. Alan Pardew headbutted a player. <laughs> like this isn't this isn't a new thing. This isn't like that is by far not the worst thing. And I just anyway, one of them in it. I know the one you mean. They tried defending one of the worst offsides. Yeah, that one. It's a joke of an account. And then there's people going. Even the referees support unions uh, are coming out and and uh, and and saying that Klopp's bad. Shut up. No, they're not. It's just some idiot who's made a Twitter account. <laughs> it was a bit cringe from Klopp, but that said, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was a bit cringe. And it's a bit like when you saw it, you're like, come on, mate, do better than that. But also like, he just shouted at him at the end of the day. You know, what? like it wasn't that bad, which that almost sounds like you're saying like, get over it. It wasn't that bad. I, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad, which I think is how you feel breezy it's like he just shouted at him like 10 hogs going off at him for ages the 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 um the fourth official right it's cringy but also hilarious he pulled his hammy yeah it was yeah <laughs> i've been and also mm, is this true does football need characters like this the football does football need this like if you think of like ferguson and wenger like you think of like when you say the words ferguson and wenger you think of their rivalry, right? Where they were dreadful to each other. Like one of the best moments of this season is like Conte and Tuchel, right? Does football, football, like people losing their head and just going a little bit mental on the sideline is sort of part of football as well, right? Marina did something very similar when at Spurs, a bit where he runs off towards the bench. Yeah. Use the clip all the time as a bit. It, it, it's, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Like, again, it's the bash Liverpool with the stick thing, isn't it? I've been enjoying Segundo Valante so much. I wish they added a Terzo Valante, uh, a defender that yeeted themselves forward. I guess like a, um, a Libero is kind of that blue of pineapple. Maybe you should do that. Use a Libero as well as Segundo Valantes and call them a Terzo Valante. I like it. <clears throat> That's why we have Jason Tindall at uh, Newcastle. He's the mad one to the calm Eddie Howe. Yeah, with his like permatan Jason Tindall. Um... Okay, can you just, like, do the bid? Why is it they've been linked with him all summer? Make the bid. Get the bid in. Do you know what? I'll do you a favour. Linked for 100k. Cheap. Cheap as chips. <laughs> Personally, I find Arteta more annoying than Klopp. That's interesting because you're a West Ham fan, so it wouldn't be like, I find Arteta more annoying than Klopp, but that means absolutely nothing because Klopp is my guy and I love him. <laughs> Uh, Jose wore a mic to defend himself from Red midweek. Did he actually? That's, that's hilarious. It's good for people who otherwise would ignore football. And it's just, it is just social media clicks, which is the world we live in these days, isn't it? Of like, there's a thing. Uh, if I was to do a tweet now bashing Liverpool about something, I'd get a lot more engagement <laughs> than if I did one bashing so, like David Moyes, <laughs> right? It's, like, it's just the way of the world. <laughs> um, they've said no to the sports scientist. Boo! How you doing, Pav? Welcome in. Uh, we're happy. Okay, good. You don't want to add any sports scientists. Excellent work. Arteta is never in his technical area, which is the most annoying thing with him. But also, I think, like, it's true, but I think there's a lot of managers who are like that, and that's almost become a thing now with Arteta, right? <clears throat> Moy's bashing is awful for engagement. <laughs> Trust me. It's all I do. <laughs> Fours never add new sports scientists. Absolute frauds. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? This sports scientist still doesn't work from the last game. Yeah, I think it's rubbish. That is your brand, Brucey. <laughs> they still don't want to sign. Do you know what? 48k. I'll take it. If you could do 48k plus a future incentives, 40k plus 50% of next sale, he's yours. Cheapest chips. 
Get it done. Still no. Um, where is Kiz this fine Sunday morning for the full house of network game admins? I'm not sure. Genuine question. Does Scott Parker get another Prem job after? I don't think so. I think Parker's done. I think he's, he's a bit tarnished. He needs to go and do like EFL. Yeah. Like he needs to find something like that. Yeah. You're the West Ham guy in the FM community. You are. <laughs> you're, you, you, to be fair, every time Breezy, and I know that I do this every time. Anytime I mention anything West Ham, I'm like, Breezy, what do you think? Because I'm like, <laughs> you're here. You can you can tell me what, what like, from the West Ham perspective. <laughs> uh, Parker's all set for punditry. Yeah, he's got the, like, he, he dresses well for punditry as well, doesn't he? This is true. I'm all for it. It's, it's good to have those perspectives. It is. Uh, I can see him at Watford. <laughs> I can see most people at Watford for a brief stint. Uh, we've lost you to an injury. What's going on then? Are we waiting for... Are we waiting for a sale? Do I need to offer out our boy again? The now. Is that his actual value? His value is 1.3 mil. But... Try offer him out for... Try offer him out for, like, cheap? Because I don't think we're ever going to get that for him, are we? Um, he's had two promotions. Defo gets a championship job. Yeah, probably true. I think he has uh, tarnished his his rep slightly, though, hasn't he? Like two hundred seventy five k lads. That is cheap as chips compared to his value. Someone make a bid so we can get an auction going or something. No one's even bidding though. I don't even think people are interested. He is wanted now by Queens Park. I'm gonna go even lower. We need to sell McNeely so that we can sign Billy McKenna. Exactly. Exactly. He's a B Tech Jamie Redknapp. Yeah, he can he can he's like the the the, the next Jamie Redknapp. <clears throat> Ian McKinley has joined. I thought that said B Billy McKenna then, but no. Billy McKinley has joined. No offers for they need to reduce their wage bill. Their wage demands are too high. Do you know what? I'm happy to pay some wages. If you do 500k plus, I'll pay some of the wages then. Um, we've got Billy McKinley in, which means, uh, do our physios now improve? Yes. Still not the best. Who's the best? Reading. We're third. Still a bit better though. Lampard said the other day he has to choose his next job carefully. I think he underestimated how much choice he's going to have. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to have the choice at all. <laughs> Fun that we're selling McNeely with this song playing. That is weird, isn't it, actually? Yeah. <laughs> Reading surely had a takeover by now in this. I don't know. They are secure finances. I don't know who their original owners are, but was it Dai Julie? I think that rings a bell. I think that's still there. I think he's still there, right? Not sure. <laughs> yeah, Wolves are safe. Seen that good win against Villa as well. Means Liverpool probably finish. Was was he actually? Oh, big! F I thought he meant. Uh, I thought he meant uh, Scott Parker for a second there, but no, Phil Parkinson. We are signing the ostrich himself, Nigel Pearson, as a scout. Ridiculous! What does that do to our scouting? We've got the best scouting now. Okay, we're nearly there. I'd love this to get better. Do we have any? Can we sign any of ours? Does Kokota join now? You're a free agent. Still no. No, the good Parker, Parky, not that sweat sweater fraud. <laughs> I don't understand how he gets another Prem job, does Lampard. Me neither. It's a real... It's tricky to see, isn't it? Although, won a game yesterday. He's just... Uh, he's got Chelsea into some form finally, right before they play United, right before they play Newcastle. Perfect for me. <laughs> Still missing people off that shortlist. I think I am, aren't I? Who else is in the game then that I need to add to this? And why did I not... Is there a reason why I didn't? What are your thoughts on that unbranded fizzy drinks machine? Uh, it's decent, actually. It's good. Makes some really good... That form is a singular win. It is indeed. Makes a really good lime and soda in our Discord chat. Newcastle United and City doesn't win a game. No, that's probably true. I hope he does though. Um, let me have a look so I can add them. Why didn't I add them to them before? Right. Oh, because most of them are, are journos, aren't they? Oh, beyond somewhere, is he? I think we saw that. Beyond is on the game somewhere. Did we not find him? I think he is, but I don't think we can find him. 
And Stephen, you're on here, but could we find you? Is it just in like that? Beyond's in the editor file. Yeah, maybe he wasn't loaded in if he's somewhere elsewhere. You're a physio for Scotland, so you do need to be added to the shortlist. But I don't think you're going to sign. You're not. <laughs> Stephen is in Scotland. I think that might be all of that. I think Beyond's in here somewhere. MJ's a ref. <laughs> can I see that? Because you can search. Can you search refs? <laughs> have we seen this before? I feel like we have. Beyond has the most gravelly Yorkshire accent. It's fantastic. Does he? That's good. Is Mystery getting a run out during pre-season? I'm not sure, to be honest. Why is MJ a ref? <laughs> I'm not even sure if he's here. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen Phil as the ref. That's who we looked at, isn't it? That's who we did see. Um, did I have James and Liam on my list here? No, so there's James as well. I don't know how this is. Yeah, James is on here that I need to add to the staff shortlist. He's a goalkeeper coach at Spurs, so I don't think he's going to join. And Liam, we definitely looked at Liam. Did I put him on my list? Why is he not on this list then? Um, I assume it's like that. Let's add you to the list as well. Will Liam join level? <laughs> yeah, we're above his level. Uh, I doubt it. No. He doesn't he don't see moving to Worcester as an improvement from working for Wigan. Which, arguable, isn't it? Arguable. <laughs> How you doing, Hubzilla? How you doing, buddy? Is MJ... MJ, yes! <laughs> uh, MJ, was MJ... Um, reffing in the, in the prem? That's hilarious. That's brilliant. Right. We're going to crap. Uh, why aren't you on the shortlist? Are you... I don't know, actually. Is it because you're at our club? Have I got it? Can you exclude it from having that? Because it'd be cool to see you on here so you can just see everyone in the same place. But can I include... I can. Are you on there anyway now? No. But you are already at the club. I can add you to the shortlist, though. I think we should. Um, goalkeeping coach, Ollie. I don't know if I can add you to it now, can I? That'll be why. I can't actually do it. I know that's the joke, but I, you know how you can add... If you're on there before, I think you'd still be on there, wouldn't you? If they're higher, they can't be on a short list. I think maybe if you do it before, they can be, but yeah. I wonder what club I'd be at. I have no idea beyond. I guess... I guess if we looked at... I don't know. I don't know how we'd even look. You ref United Liverpool. That's amazing. That's so good. Dan there too. Yeah, and Dan, of course. Yeah. Oh, we can send Dan on a coaching course. Let's do that. Can I send Ollie on a coaching course? Oh, they can actually get better. Let's send them. Let's send them. <laughs> you are a ref, MJ. You are indeed. You are. You're a referee. Let's just show you. And a, Oh, that's not your name. And uh, you are refereeing, refereeing United Liverpool, apparently, in the Premier League. Well, you get three yellow cards and got a good rating. Your rating's actually really good. You're a really good ref. Internationally, you did the European Championships. You're actually really... You're a very good ref. You're in the elite group of referees. 511 games. Average rating 8.13. I think you might be the best ref on the game. That's ridiculous. Did you do any of the big games in this? When, which is the most recent ones? These ones. Italy, Ukraine was your most recent one in this. Which, what round was that? It was... You did a second round game. So you didn't get to the end, but you got to the second round and did this game. Compare that to Phil. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let's do that. You're better than Phil. Hubzilla, thank you for the sub, my friends. Thank you, buddy. Here's my friend. By the way, chat, if you're watching and you're like, I watch all the time, why am I not in the game? The next time we do a save like this, we'll continue to add people because I think it is a nice little fun touch, isn't it? So anyone who is just about the community and is here often and will get added in, I'm sure. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's how it happens. Leone keeps notes. It's all on Leone. If you want to be in the game, you need to just charm Leone. All right. That's that's what you need to do. To be honest, if you want to get anywhere in this stream, Leone is 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 your ticket to that. <laughs> You keep notes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right, let's um, let's continue. See if we can sell McNeely and sign Billy McKenna. The only best mod. G great start, PLL. Great start. Phil doing Northern Ireland reserves games. Yeah, not my referee. Yeah, that's true. 
<clears throat> or be in the network game. But nah, it's not just the network game. It's like being active on the Discord and chatting away in here and just turning up every week and stuff and being a part of the clay community, you know? <clears throat> like I said, as I see it, when we make the file... Yeah, exactly. We, <laughs> Pav and Leone, etc. all make the file and then forget what's actually in it. Right, we're going to sign... Oh, we've got offers. Here we go. 20% of profit. Can we... Can we do an auction here then? 40k. Annoyingly... We don't have the future fee in this, which is what I really kind of want to have. This has got potential of profit. You reckon he has profit? Where's he going to go to? Do we accept this one? I know it's like a little bit less, but Birmingham, they're League 2. Maybe not. They're all League 2, actually. I think we just try and do a... I think we just try and do a, a, an auction here, right? Or do we take the... The profit's probably not going to happen if he goes to League 2. I think we offer out to see if we can get better, but... Just take the straight 40k in auction. I think that's true. It also gets a bit muddled with auctions when you have future fees and things. They don't auction as well. If it's just straight money, they do auction it weirdly. Let's accept Port Vale just because... Or do we accept Chesterfield? Because they're lower. And then maybe Port Vale have more money and they can come back with more money. Does that make sense? I'm going to reject this one because it does get a bit muddled. All right, David Dickinson. Yeah. Auction, auction. Um, by the way, MJ, thank you very much for the uh the the resub as well, Morgan. I appreciate it. Um I'm gonna accept Chesterfield. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ask now for 42k and a percentage of next sale as the first auction. Just to see if they come back with that, because that's definitely better. We're also gonna sign the uh, the Hobbit Alcan Baggett. Welcome. Baggett is in. He's going to be a backup. Decent. I mean, he's not far off his potential decent League One player. So he's going to be a backup uh, left centre back, I think. So let's get him training like that. Get Judge to welcome him. There we go. Hollywood Truth Bombs. What did he say? You don't deserve to be a regular watcher, let alone VIP. Yeah, fair play. I don't. I still think we should hit that striker release clause. What, 400? We haven't got the money. We can't until we have the money, though. If we can sell people, yeah, then I, I kind of think we should as well. I know. Pav will be on board. Pav, do we spend actual money on this guy? 475k is his release clause. I think it'd be really quite exciting. Him and Judge up front. Uh, no, Enhart. Alan signed a new one-year deal, but we've got him back on loan again. <clears throat> yeah, Mackenzie might. When we then adjust it, I think that might be enough. Let's see if we get another... He didn't want... Um... I'm going to say that, but I might get rid of his asking price straight away. Because that might put them off. <laughs> 18 balance and 16 strength. Yes, money will always come back. It should do, right? It can play right mid. I was on board, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do it with a salon. What, the offering out? Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, they've said no to the coaching course for, for Dan. Please. Dan doesn't want to, doesn't have enough personal interest to develop his coaching qualifications. He's got, he's only got a Continental A license. His contract uh, runs until 2030, Leone. So no is the answer. Same with Ollie. Ollie doesn't want to develop his, co his coaching. What's going on? Can I talk to them and tell them to do it? Ollie doesn't want to get more than a Continental A license either. I can't talk to them. Disgusting from them, that is. Disgusting. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will happily take Bezos' money. Thank you, 2711. Thank you for the nine months. Appreciate you, dude. Let me do some sub emotes for you as well. There we go. Thank you, mate. Nice to see they know what I'm thinking. Yep, brilliant. Um, let's... What was I going to do? Offer out again. Let's offer out our boy. It was... How much did we get? 40k for him. Let's do 50k. See if we get a bid. If not, we'll go a little bit lower as well. Ollie thinks education is a waste of time. Clearly. Why are you training at a 5.65? That's terrible, Marshall. Terrible. 
Any bids? No. Going around. No, no, no. On the side. We've got a game. We've got a Carabao Cup game on like the 8th, I think, as well. So we're about a week away from playing a game too. So that's, uh, we will get some games in today for sure. You don't need to predict yet. I mean, you can, but you're making it hard work for Leone. <laughs> uh, reports on Judge. Displeasure should be scheduling more strength training. All right. Uh, displeasure from you? No, you're happy. Thinks he should be doing more strength training as well. Interesting. Also, yeah, the prediction league is over, so I don't think we need to. Uh, okay, Kane Fuller Love has rejected. We've still only got a 40k bid from Carlos McKenzie. What about 45? Wait, it's 11th in the season preview. 11th. It might actually be a challenge. That's before we signed Baggett. But I imagine it won't have changed too much. Uh, GYR, how you doing, buddy? Have you good, my friend? And Pranz. Pranks. How you doing, dude? Welcome. We've beaten Grimsby 4-1. Linville Jackson. That's decent. I think playoffs. I hope so. I hope it's like a... I, I hope there's a bit of... Jeopardy on the season at some point. Something to play for. That'd be kind of fun at this stage, I think. I think we can do playoffs. Yeah, let's see. We are, I'll show you here, look, predicted 11th. Resistance from the opposition too. Yeah, that's it. Just a little bit of resistance from the opposition. To be fair, if we are, I mean, we're going to be quite low down the, the wages and things too. Uh, FMGNG. Thank you very much for the hello, I mean. And thank you for, the, for saying hello. <laughs> Franks, thank you for the follow. Relegated 0 points, GG. We'll take it. Bit of jeopardy. We wanted it, didn't we? That Coventry, that Coventry team is all over the best 11. Yeah, exactly. Did they come down or are they just, for some reason, now looking really good? I think Peterborough came down. Yeah, they did come down for Coventry. Look, O'Hare, Sheaf, is this, is he Coventry? No, Preston Keeper. Uh, bye, Leone. Enjoy your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you for hanging out. Um, let's get you training as a wing back. Support. Attack. Just realized these guys aren't quite training in their role, so they might as well be. Um, the others are. Your training is yeah. You are a left back. That's fine. Uh, anybody decent in League Two of Anorama Best Eleven might be a gem. I had a look. There wasn't a load. League Two season preview. Look, I mean, we know a lot of these players. Like this guy, Mason Burstow would probably score a load of goals for us. But I think he'd cost a lot of money to sign as well. And I'd rather Billy McKen McKenna. Um, and that's kind of it, really. You're okay. Again, would cost quite a lot of money. You're 2.2 million. Really good, but would cost a load. Except for we don't need a keeper. Who's this pair guy? Grantley Pear. Not somebody I've seen before, actually. Grantley Pear is unhappy. Wants to move to a club with a stronger team. I mean, maybe he looks quite good. You're 2.2 million. You're 1.5k. You're Aaron Connolly. He looks quite good. Maybe a uh, an alternative to Billy McKenna. I just think Billy McKenna, for some reason, has a bit of future folklore about him. I think that 400k for him, I think, makes way more sense. I, re I really like the look of him. Just Billy and Leon up front. Do you not think? But he did look good, actually, that guy. Probably a bit... What was his value? What would he cost? Probably similar. And he wants loads in wages, actually. More than Billy McKenna wants in wages. <laughs> Trust your gut. Yeah. We just need to sell somebody or, or a few. Halfen leaves. I think, do we get the money for him now? Because that could help as well. I don't think we would have already got the money, no? Yeah, Grantley definitely a good alternative for sure, yeah. Can we sell any clauses as well? No. We're waiting on... Masterson will be... Oh, no, we don't have a clause. We do have a friendly to play against Barnsley, though. Can we cash in that friendly already? We don't have a lot of time. Nah, I think we leave it. Nice run of friendlies in the Louvre. 
the Louvre. I think you've got the money, but wages are gone. Yeah. We've actually used all our wages up, haven't we? But if we sell McNeely, what's, um, also what's the keeper on in wages? We get another thousand there as well. MC Kenner. Yeah. We can also, we get a little bit more back in wages when, Mac when Mackenzie goes too. Weird that they've not come back in with a bid, even though they bid 40k. They won't bid 45. I meant for the guy leaving Halfen. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, when Halfen goes, the wages... We've got the money, but wages have got... He's only on 70 pounds per week. I think he might have a future fee attached to the deal, though. We might be able to sell his clause at some point as well. Um, Cyril Southern had a bid, but I rejected it, didn't I? Let's offer him out again. Get another 35k for him. Can you set the Louvre sound in Nitro, in Disco for Nitro, please? Yeah, I need to look into that. Massive wages, yeah. Uh, who else could we sell? Brogdon is one that I'm trying to sell. He's on decent wages. I agree with Pav Sorted. I mean, Stephen did message me to remind me to do that, and I haven't. I will try. I can't believe that none of these players are getting bids. Like, McNeely is wanted, or was wanted, not getting any bids. Need to sign a player with a name similar to Louvre. Yeah, we do. Soundboard feature in voice chat needs some of your soundboard stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> if that 70 quid ain't much, add it onto mine. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Can't uh, believe nobody else wants my players that I don't want. I know. But you think, like, lower down, they've just got promotion these lads been pretty good haven't they Worcester City captain tell you what Professor Emil McGonagall looks like a very good captain for the future he might actually get people to agree to things the problem is I don't know if he's going to be a starter but I think Leon Judge has to carry on as captain and I think he is a professor this is true a house leader you could say should we make him vice captain What's the Wonderland? I like it, Modern Age. Loads! Thanks for the raid, my friends. Welcome. Hope you are good. I reckon we make him vice. Is that going to upset Marshall Seward? Probably. Uh, wage bill for Donnell McNeely. Listen, lads. Listen. I'll, I'll pay 400k of his... 400 pounds of his wages and 250... He's cheap. That's cheap. Deputy head, yep. <clears throat> Vice Fitz, she was head at Hogwarts for a stint. <laughs> Kirby's left the club after his trial. It was nice having you in for a bit. Um, still no real bids for anyone. I don't think we've got anyone in here that we could sell on, could we? You're wanted. On loan. Let's see if we can sell you. Do you, have, do you have value? I think I've set that. What's his value? 85k. Take a little bit of money for him, maybe. Um, Liam Layton. Can we give Liam Layton a loan? The loan. <laughs> <laughs> she became head after 6.5 years, so Vice does the job. Perfect. Was that more staff admin? I think it, nah, it wasn't. It was just confirming the, the ones that I asked for. Look, the extra physio and brilliant. The extra scout, even though it's the same. So it doesn't make any sense. When's the stadium done? 2030. We're about a year and a half away. Maybe two years, actually. It's probably in the summer, isn't it? Two years away? Where can we see that? It's on facilities, isn't it? Uh... 28th of June, 2030. So two years just under. Hopefully it'll be championship by then, yeah. All right, let's get Halfen to go out and see if it does affect our, our money at all in any way. Also, cheers to this. Ready? Yeah, I will rename it. We'll do. It's going to be called the, uh, the, the Sex Stadium. <clears throat> Obviously. The spineless energy 
Fake Munity Stadium. The sex. All right. Oh, Man City got 15% of that fee, did they? We've uh, we've sold Halfen for 114k. It's actually good money we sold him for. Do we get that money now? No. We uh we don't. So, all right, good. Uh why is Judge upset? He's upset that John Anders Halfen was let go. Why? This guy was, I mean, he's got good potential, but he was never going to make it. Do we have a sell-on fee clause? I think we have a, a we do. We get 40% on the profit as well. So if he does go on now, playing in a decent Norwegian league, he's got value. We might be able to sell that clause for a little bit of money. So he went for 114k, right? Three to, like that's good money being made. And we hopefully make a bit more on the fee as well, on the on the future fee at some point too. I looked away as you said that and got so confused. Then it clicked in your head. Yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. I think you get it when the deal. I think we did get it as well. I agree. Addition to name the stadium the Louvre. No, <laughs> the Sex Stadium is the perfect name. Right, we might get an extra forty k. We're going to be close, but it's also a lot of money to go and spend, isn't it? Is there anyone else that we can sell? Why are they not selling? This guy's like, if he's wanted. Mill will want him. I'm offering him out for super cheap. Make a bid. The training ground could be called the Louvre. Yeah. Or the Louvre stand. I like it. Yeah, the home end like can be can be called in the Louvre. Or something. Uh Brogdon. That's cheap as well. Cheap as chips. Make a bid. Yeah, it's not the sex stadium. You're right. It's just the sex. Otherwise, it is the stadium stadium. Yeah, you're right. Can you rename the training ground in game? Never tried. I don't think so. I don't think it even says anything about your training ground uh, in terms of the name, right? Training facilities, it just says below average. So no, I assume not. There's Agbra, which is been our home for a while now, actually, hasn't it? Kidderminster. Uh, offered you out Cyril Southern still wanted, but no one's making a bid. You can have him for free. That doesn't really help us now, though, does it, actually? Uh, it's on the original skin, I think, says the name of the training ground. Oh, does it? Maybe then. We need to do the ground like we did for the spineless. I reckon, Pav, I'm going to be able to do a really good one that I can mid-journey generate and then I can tweak it with like the things. I reckon using mid-journey and AI, I reckon I can generate a really good stadium like we did for the... Um, we could probably do it before we actually move in, actually. Maybe soon I'll start to get that ready because that original spineless one, does anyone have that to hand? Because it's so good, isn't it? Maybe I've got it on here. I don't know if I do. Well, there's a Hereford folder. I might do. I do. Uh, this. I'll add it here. Uh, can I just paste something here? No. <clears throat> How big is the, the new stadium? Massive. Like 18,000, wasn't it? 18,000 seater. It's massive. I don't know why they've built... I do know why. It's because we keep getting promoted. But this was the Hereford one that we made. Uh, well, that I made. So like, I took like an image and then edited it, look, for he the Hereford save. It's got like the spineless energy stuff on there. I mean, you can zoom, like, zoom in to show you a bit more. Like, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Spineless energy. You've got like the Bass stand, which is the Benny Ashley Seal stand. You've got the Lenny stand, this one. This is the Lenny family stand. The Violet end. You've got like, there's like a Jurassic Park banner there, look, in the, in the, on one of the stands. I know you can't see my cursor here. I'm pointing at them. You've also got like, that's a Gatsby goal banner. Stand 365, the modcast, Bulls TV. That's a Clake coin one, look. Yeah, the Gatsby goal TIFO. It's good, isn't it? Like, I want to do all of this stuff and I'll make this stuff for the new stadium when, uh, when we move in because I think it's cool. Why are there only three stands? Because uh, this was the best image I could find. It was a, it was a uh, planning permission issue. Planning permission. Uh, you, this, was, this is a protected park behind, so we couldn't be... No, I think we actually said it was where, this is where the cattle market was. So you couldn't have uh, a stand where the cattle market was from the spineless end. Don't, yeah, all, yeah, building on, a, on the river. It's the river Y. <laughs> also because it's spineless. Exactly, yeah. 
Seems very reasonable. Yeah, you know, it's all part of the law, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty cool, though, isn't it? It's pretty cool. I was there yesterday. It does not look like that. No. No, it really does not, does it? <laughs> prison end. I mean, we did have the prison end, didn't we, with that massive weird building, which was odd. Right. Uh, no offers for five players. That's just, that's madness. They've got one, they're wanted. I'm literally saying to these teams, you can have him for cheap. And they're like, nah, let's see if we can do a, an auction. <clears throat> Are we, oh, I need to make sure we're training the right thing. We're training the UFO at the moment. <laughs> you can see the name of the training ground in facilities tab, by the way. Third from bottom. I don't think we can in ours. Nah, not in ours, we can't. You see the, the youth stadium, which is Agbra. You can see it doesn't... We, maybe we don't have a training facilities. It, or, or you think maybe in the main skin. I don't think this would have changed in the in the different skin. But maybe we just... Because ours is not good enough to have one. Maybe if I go to a team that has one, they'll have that. Like, let's look at Liverpool's. Like the AXA. Does it say that in theirs? Uh... Yeah, it says it in there. Look, so you might you must be able to. In Liverpool's look, they have the AXA training centre because it's the training ground there, look. Yeah, I guess we just don't have one. Is that a dragon statue or a mini Statue of Liberty behind you? Uh neither. The the plant. <laughs> just a plant. You're using Kajura, yeah. There you go then. That's why we just don't have one. Uh, Papa John's, we've got AFC Wimbledon, Bristol Rovers, and Tottenham under 21s. Exciting. We went straight out of that last year, didn't we? Straight out of it. And a, and a, and a Kundal Ajax kit. And a Clayton's FM, FM kit. And a dog. Training facility's not even good enough to be listed. Exactly. When am I ordering my uh, Chavez Caratero Almeria kit, though? That's the big question, isn't it? Who's Robinson? He's a under 18s coach. Okay, he's joined. Good. Nice. Like that. Um we're not uh, there's not a lot of movement, is there, in terms of our deals then? We can wait for you to go, and that's about it. Not a statue of a dog, no, an actual one. You're saying you haven't already? I haven't yet, no. That Almeria team though, so much fun. <laughs> um Exactly, Ollie. This is true. This is true. Um, thank, thank you for the reminder. I, if I did get one, I would have... Oh, bid! That's... We probably accept this, don't we? The percentage of profit's quite interesting here. That's probably all right money. I don't think we'd get more than 275k for any player. Is that a record sale? I think it might be right i think we take it's 225 guaranteed or an initial 225k we're gonna have to wait ages for this this 56k after 50 games that's like a bid i would do <laughs> but i think we still accept it right mbo song for the oh ulysses chavez caratero the ulysses makes that hard ulysses chavez caratero i accept means you can get billy i agree he really wants to go as well denial's gonna move on he wants to leave as his song never got made this is probably fair to him yeah he's gonna go we've got loan bids can i turn either of these or any of these into a transfer bid of around about 60k no can i put in no i can't six months Pointless. I might as well try and get the... I can't even change that one. Accept an offer out again for a solid fee. See if anyone buys. Yeah, good point. Might as well try it, right? I think I have offered it out, but just 200k? Solid fee? In reality, it doesn't play at all for them, no. He's our striker. He's our number nine. He actually is as well. It's perfect. Let's offer out 250k. I don't think anyone buys. We might as well try it, right? That is the money, though. It's almost the mo all of the money. What do you want now? Can you leave. Oh, yeah, I just ignored him. Who's that? Oh, it's the under 21's manager to speak to him. Ed, no. What do I say to Judge? Ollie, this is where we need you. What can I say to Judge here to make him not upset? I'll be signing a better player in his place. Does that 
If I sign the striker, does that count? I don't think it would, right? But that's the promise. He wanted regular football. There's a great atmosphere. Don't ruin it. Is it that one? When you play the gold music on a on a YouTube video, scenes. That's true, actually. Would get copyright struck, though, I think, is the issue. So, that, that does make it a problem. Um, Financial. Do they like that? Sometimes the football, the financial side takes over. In this case, the deal was too... All right. Well done. I didn't realize that was one that worked. We learn something every day. This is why Ollie's the goat. And James, also, you were correct. Well done. A round of applause for the chat. It is. Oh, another bid for McKenzie. Oh, <laughs> not as good. So I don't know why I'd accept this, but another bid nonetheless. Uh, no, he didn't ask to leave either, though. Otherwise, yeah, that would work. <laughs> um, that's not as good as that, is it? Does that have a percentage of profit? That's a worse bid, isn't it? And I can't even... Like, if you give us 40k, and then the percentage of profit, is all yours, Birmingham. But you did 33k, which is a small difference to be doing that. Does this afford McKenna? McNeely going does afford McKenna. McNeely going gives us all the money we need to go and get him. Right? It's about 150 more. We'd probably be just about okay. Plus the McKenzie going. Yes. What league of Birmingham? League 2. Like, they're bad. They're in the league below us. Bad team. Right, Eastley's in four days as well. Three days, four days. You're thinking if they were a good league, then um, it's worth it for the percentage of profit, right? But no, they are crap. Another bid for Gomez. You want it for free for, for no reason. Why can't I do a mandatory? For, I guess his contract's running out. That'll be why. Um, just check these guys. I suppose they look like there's some decent players on here. This Usman Osiande. I don't think he's in. Oh, he might be interested now. I really like this guy. He's six foot five as well. Could loan him. Yeah, we actually almost could, but I don't think I want to because of the wages. And we've got backup right backs, haven't we? Deep in thought streamer right now. Just 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 trying to read, I think, at that point. <laughs> just just reading. Uh Seward, come on, mate. That's rubbish. Fiorini, that's rubbish as well. Warn you, criticize your training, you idiot. You're just about okay. Solid concentration face that was. Yeah, it was. I was also, I think, also playing with my beard, which definitely made it seem even more like acting. <laughs> All right, come on then. Let's see if we can get McKenna. See if we can raise the money to get the big dog in up front. <clears throat> I'd love it if this, this, this cold could go away. That'd be glorious, to be honest. Uh, Queen's Park have signed Ernest Gian. I think they were interested in McNeely and they've gone for Ernest Gian instead. Just actually paid money for him. They paid 170k for him as well. That's hilarious. Unintosin for striker. No, not the big, a different big dog. You idiot! If your tongue comes out, we've lost him, yeah. Um, That's annoying. Mackenzie's rejected Chesterfield. For Christ's sake, mate. I think you're already listed as oh, your emergency backup. I didn't make you surplus to requirement. You're a knob, Carlos. That's really annoying. Let's try again. That is a spanner in the works. Ah, we already cleared out your locker. <laughs> Should have accepted Birmingham. Yeah, maybe Birmingham come back in. You really wanted to go there as well, which is just weird. Give the man options. Yeah. But he said he'd be he'd be disappointed if I didn't accept one of Chesterfield, Birmingham, or the other one. So he actually he really wanted to speak to them and then rejected them. They must have just not been able to offer his wage demands. 
I imagine. I think they are like Vanarama National, aren't they, Chesterfield? So Port Vale were in for him earlier as well, and now apparently they're not. Let's do the let's just put this down to 35 then. See if Birmingham come back in. See if Port Vale come back in. We might do. What is competition review? Okay. Oh, is that our league kicked off? Why are we not playing? Why has everyone played except us? And Fleetwood? Our league kicked off without us. Why? We've got Carabao Cup now. That's, we're always going to be a game behind. That seems a bit unfair. Poor Fleetwood as well. They've left us behind. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, Oli'd already started the trading plans without him. Oh, I forgot as well. We, we missed out on Gruff Dix last week as well, didn't we? I've just seen this guy. Went to Peterborough in our league, by the way, and they put him on 4.6k, 3.6k a week, and he's valued at nearly 4 million. We almost signed Gruff Dix. Didn't they do this last year? They do this every year. <laughs> uh, no bids. We've got a, a loan bid. Just lads. Please. No bids. Why not? Wage demands. A thought to be interested. He wants to go to Port Vale. Every year! Every year! Um, what's going on here then? Gruff dicks at the sex would have been a sight to behold. It really would have been. 30k. I'm really, really bringing his price down now. That's less than what Birmingham offered. Why are they not? <laughs> but they're not coming back in. We've sold uh, almost double the season tickets though. That's diff. Decent, isn't it? Offer the wage contribution. I almost don't want to, though, because it's like. We had a 40k straight up bid for him. Now look at us scrounging around for 30k and paying his wages. Embarrassing. <laughs> you can go, yeah. How the mighty have fallen, I know. I'm embarrassed. Humiliated, publicly. Right, Sam Allison is the referee. We've got a game. So, attention changes. What league are Eastleigh in? Sounds like my granny there, thank you. Ooh, a loan bid for Brogdon. I can't... Oh, for God's sake. You know, what's the point? What's the point? 2.8k to loan him? I don't think so. You are wanted... Oh, by Carlisle on loan. Um, no offers for McKenzie. They need to reduce their current wage bill. Wage demands are too high. Birmingham, Chesterfield, Crystal Palace. Palace are interested in him. No wonder his preferred choice would be Crystal Palace. They want to sign him as their backup keeper, I assume. This guy's been so weird because he's been, I think, like, weren't City interested in him at one point? As well. Or, like, I'm pretty sure somebody high up was, but very odd. Why Chetich is such a decent CB on FM, is he? Is he not a bit short? But, yeah, potentially. Yeah, it was City. I'm sure it was. We talked about Scott Carson, didn't we? Unspecified, transfer listed, Get it done, registration merchants. <laughs> is he 6'1", is he? Well, maybe he is. I guess he is. He looks like he should be short, but he's not. That's a crap offer. No, that's not what I meant, is it? You can't just offer zero. I'm not going to sell him for zero, Birmingham. They're taking the mick. All right. Birmingham have offered 30k. It's because he's so skinny. I think it is, yeah. I love him though. He's really good. I'm quite excited. I, I, uh, the fact that he was in all of the shirts, uh, like, um, press releases is quite interesting. All right. So we'll accept 30k. It's a bit of a climb down, isn't it? From the, uh, the 40k, but at least we might be able to sell him. Let's just, let's just accept that. That was a ridiculous. I offered him out for 30k. They didn't want to do it. I offered him out for unspecified. They offered zero. 
then negotiated it to 30k. It makes no sense, does it? There's Walker Glen. Brantley Pear. Oh, his wage demands have come down a bit if we don't get Billy McKenna then, I guess. They had 30k in the, the bank and tried to act like they're penniless. They did, didn't they? They're like, we can't afford anything. We'll take him off your hands, though. <laughs> Let's see if he accepts them because they're league too. He might not. He might hang hang on now. In fact, he's transplitted and should I put him in the under 23s? Because I kind of need him to go. He is already. That didn't change. Surplus to requirements. Move him to the under 21s. Tom Denton gets a coaching license, but none of our other lads do. Can I. Can I get you to go on one yet? Nope. <clears throat> All right. So now McNeely is going to leave. I'm actually a bit sad to go. Donnell was a good, good player for us. Couple of seasons, scored goals in both of them. Never really first choice. I never really gave him a fair, fair uh, cracker the, the whip, did I, to be honest. But... He's gone and made us a bit of money. So a free transfer, selling for 275k. We're going to get 155k now. We're going to have a percentage of profit of next sale too. So hopefully that happens. Salford are in our league. So I don't know if that happens. But his value was like 1.3 million for us at one point. So we might be able to sell that in a season or two. And uh, he's going to go. Goodbye to now. It might give us the money to sign Billy McKenna. Let's see. It gives us... We've got 460 and a little bit of extra weight. If we do that, look. I did it the wrong way. If we do that, look. We've got the money. Go get the next legend. He'll probably score against us, yes. Is this really silly? For a team like us, with the, with the stadium that we are building, is it silly for us to go and spend 475k on a player? Almost certainly, yes. Are we going to do it? Almost certainly, yes. No, no, yes, no. Very confusing. Shall we do it though? Yes, but do it. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford his wages now, unless Mackenzie goes. He's dubious. Ooh, he might want a lot in wages. This might, this might be a struggle. Star player, we can do the stepping stone thing. We can put a, a fee release in there. 4.9k! Seven hundred twenty-five k is the release clause. Limited. Oh no. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Is it silly? No. Should we do it? Yes. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Time for the nay nay deal. Yeah. Give you fifty if we get promoted. You can get this. Now this is where it becomes silly. If we don't get promoted, mate, which probably happens. You can go for... That release clause is criminal. I don't love the release clause. Considering we're signing in for 400k, the release clause is a bit of a yikes, isn't it? But we've got a season where as soon as we can offer him a new contract, we could hopefully rectify it, right? NUFC! Uh, Ro Rolney? NUFC, thank you very much for the sub. He's dropped a primer and then followed. What a legend. Thank you, mate. Or in high international caps. He's Irish, so he might actually get the international caps, though, right? We can maybe put this in as well. Like, he can go to 3.1k, which is closer to what he wants after, after five games. Did you see that tip? If you're buying on a release clause, put 50% wage, they have to accept. No, I've not seen that. What does that mean? Um, in other words, problems for future clays. Yes, <laughs> this is exactly what this is. But is he worth it? Is he worth it? I don't want to have this either, but I feel like we have to. Bribe the agent. We don't have the money to, though, is the thing. Maybe we do just about. I do wage after international. No. 
Cut bonus on, say, fourth round. Right. That's a lot of money. That is that that is disgusting. Future clicks will be playing FM24, yeah. Does this deal raise his expectations and make it harder to take clauses out in future? Possibly, that's the thing. Give yourself room. Yeah, true. Oh, relegation. Flip it. Might as well get to that, right? We might not do this. Which might not be the worst thing, because we can like come back for him a little bit later. He might bring it down towards the end of the window. We thing we'll see, but this is silly. This might not happen, yeah. Assist bonus. He's our Bellingham, yeah. <laughs> Just give him 35%. What a sell on fee. It's a bit of a yikes, isn't it? Especially I guess we're going to try and get... We're going to try not to sell him, aren't we? Because that is what is going to bring... The, that This basically... This is our only bargaining tool now that is going to get us close to 4.6k a week, isn't it? Financial stability just took a big old hit. How good is he? I think he's quite good. Do it. Give him a new deal in January. I think we have to do the new deal just because of the release clause. But him and Judge up front. He's not even particularly fast. He's not even particularly good at finishing. But I really like like the off the ball, the decisions, composure. And he's 20. I feel for some reason he's got an aura about him. The aura about him is that he this guy scores loads of goals. He's promotion, that's what he is. It's quite bugging this year's FM that when you give someone the world in a contract, they accept a way less contract later. They do, don't they? Jump a reach of 12. He's the name on the shirt. I think he, I'm doing it. So much money. It is our Vinicius deal. The Vinicius deal was a good deal in the end, though. The Allison deal, good deal in the end. All of these massive ones that we've done, I don't think I've regretted, regretted any of them. The Neymar one. I think I've not regretted any of them. Reminds me of Teddy Sheringham. Yeah, that type of striker, just smart. Really smart. Like off of judge. Judge is up there winning, winning the headers, and then you've got him just off him, right? He's the he's quite mulling as well, actually. He is, isn't he? I reckon Vinny won us the UCL. He did, didn't he? He did. I agree. I reckon. I reckon it's good to go. Who was our backup attacking midfielder on here? I think it was Fiorini. Because let's go with our our team here in this game. Watch um watch uh Linville Jackson here score a load of goals in this first game, and we're like, why the hell are we signing another striker? But you know. He's on loan, so he's not ours. He doesn't count, does he? The Barca one from the Hereford save, which was injured. Oh, the Nicky Cash deal. Brilliant. Is the only failure. I don't even think that was a failure. We played him at right wing back, and then we did win the Champions League. Matty, yeah, not Nicky Cash. Ma Matty Cash. Well, no, it was Nicky Cash. Not Matty Cash. It was Nicky Cash, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd play Jackson and McKenna. Would you? Instead of Judge. I think Judge is our guy, though, is the thing. I know what you mean, yeah. They, they would complement each other as well quite a lot. Reese Devine was in a year below, was in the year below you at school. He's quite good. Looks like a good, good, solid left back option for us. There you go. Nicky Cash with his, uh, with his emote. Her stream heritage, that was, wasn't it? Right. Let's go through. Backup centre back. Backup left back is Reese Devine. Backup centre back is Alkin Baggett. Backup. So I'm really annoyed about this save that I can't give shirt numbers. Why can't I do shirt numbers? And when can I? I know it's broken in the database, but is that going to fix itself at any point? Please? Please? The Jota loan back wouldn't have happened. Exactly. Um, 
Dalton is a back at midfielder, so is McGonagall. Back at right back is probably Cullen. The two midfielders. We've got at nine subs. We can do three midfielders. The last one will be... Yes, it's Brogdon. No, Flett. Fletting agent. And then three strikers as backups if we need to. We'll do Callum Allen, definitely. Martial Seward, definitely. Let's do another midfielder rather than Chucky. Let's do, let's do Brogdon. All right. The bottle loan back was the strange part of the whole thing. So weird, wasn't it? Judge plays, we need songs. We do. But does Billy McKenna get a song? Billy McKenna, Billy McKenna, and it's Billy McKenna. It fits with some words. Instead of me saying, na, 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 put some words in there, it fits. Do other teams not have shirt numbers or is it just you that doesn't have it? That's a good question. Maybe when we get to the first game, we'll see. It doesn't. It doesn't fit? No? Uh, I've just... I've just the player score a low driven free kick. Never seen... Oh, really? No, I've never seen that either. So sad your friendship with Chucky soured. It didn't sour. He just... We just outgrew him. He's really not... Like, the fact that he's still at the club shows it hasn't soured. He's just not very good at football. <laughs> More than a striker, Billy McKenna. More than a striker, he's Billy McKenna. I like it. I like it. it, it it's true. Because he's going to be more than a striker for us. We need to sign him first. Anyway, first game of the season. We're playing it's quite a few new lads in this team, actually. Let's play Eastley. Yeah, we want it for £150 million a week later. Yeah, you can have him back on loan. They loan listed him immediately, didn't they, Botter? That was hilarious. Stream heritage, genuinely. It's still my pinned Twitter tweet. Twitter tweet? <laughs> it's still my pinned tweet because I think he has to... I think it's just... If anything... If there's ever a video that sums up this stream, I think it's that, isn't it? <clears throat> Billy, 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 Billy to the tune of Ruby. I feel like you can do that with anything. Oh, what a striker. Billy McKenna. Comes in and blitzes the shirt sales record. I hope so. Right, we're underway. Let me move to the other side. Uh, Eastley R... In the blue. We're in the black. We need new kits soon. When do we get new kits? With spineless energy on the front. Is it when we move into the stadium? New kits. New stadium. Rebrand. A Worcester rebrand. Maybe even a new badge. What do you reckon? I feel like that's quite a cool thing to do. Oh, the Ajaria scored on his debut. Come on. I think that's quite a cool thing to do. Like, whatever league that is for 2030... I think we get new kits, maybe even a, a new updated badge. We do like a Worcester City rebrand. I think the rebrand we did at Malvern was really cool. I really liked the new the new badge. I know it's kind of like, do you change a badge of a team? But yeah. It, and also, yeah, 20, for the 2030s, it works on the timings. I like it. I, those little things are important to me. And I like the fact that you guys appreciate those too. It makes sense. Can we be evil and change the club colours? Actually, no is the thing because... You can't change in the database. You can't, you know, like the, the colors that pop up here. You can't change these. So it looks really weird if you do that. So, so also no. Also, I don't think I want to, but, but that's the main reason not to. What? No song, noob streamer. What's, what do you mean no song? Oh, new song. What's the city song? Maybe. <laughs> Judge Linville Jackson over. That's why we need a new striker. And maybe even at that time, I'll try and do like the um, the 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 advertising hoardings and things as well, because we can even do all of the new branding with the new kit and everything. We can do like all of the um, like the advertising hoardings. You can put it on the stadium image and things. I think it could be quite cool. Uh, Samuel's shot cross blocked, doomed to fail before he started. Nah, I think it'll be good. Ajaria. Panada pulling the strings. Simeone. Ajaria might be really good for us. That is an outrageous effort. And walk on music. Oh, yeah, because we can do the walk on music for, for things as well. So maybe, yeah. Record like a Worcester City song. We're going overboard now. That plays when the teams come out. Could be really hilarious, couldn't it? Jackson around the keeper. He's missed it. Like, honestly. 
Billy Jean is Billy McKenna. Is it? Yeah, I guess the Billy part. Easily free kick. If it was, it's the it's the syllables McKenna. Having three of them, maybe we need to think. He's gonna need a song, isn't he? If we sign him, which it looks like we're going to, because I've offered the trans, I've offered the contract, and he liked it. Right, half time, we are winning. Let me do a sub into the second half here. Let's do Professor Mc McGonagall is going to come on for. I'm going to do Fiorini and play them that way around. Let's do Fletting Agent. Let's do Reese Devine. Let's do Marshall Seward. Billy McKenna is our striker. Billy McKenna, Barbie girl. He's a. Uh, yep. Yeah. Trying to work out how that works, but okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's giving straight to Seward. Seward, he's gone around the houses. Judge. Fletting agent. Lado. What a weird, weird highlight. Professor McGonagall. That's a good ball out wide. Divine. That's nice. Good football. When we realize McKenna scores the goals to Vienna. Oh, by Billy Joel. Uh, McKenna. Oh, McKenna, Vienna. Oh, McKenna. Oh, I like it. There is definitely something with Vienna, isn't there? This could be 1-1. One, one. It is. Oh, dear. <laughs> Vienna, McKenna. There's something there, isn't there? Phenomenal shout. Death for the Ultravox one. The Ultravox one kind of makes... Like, that is something I can see real fans doing, isn't it? McKenna waits, but I do like the McKenna waits for you. McKenna scores for you. Like with the, the Billy Joel one. Let, I'd go, Slow down, you crazy child. Imagine it. Good header, Stacy and his mum. Stacy's mum. He needs a song, doesn't he? Ibsen Rossi heads home. That's a really nice header over the keeper. <laughs> Did the keeper get the assist for their goal, Rembrandt? That's annoying. It's a good header. I like it. Ultravox all day, get to the studio, yeah. I feel like I need to wait until my voice works a bit, a bit better to record these. Maybe actually it's like a slightly deeper husky version of my voice. Maybe now's the exact time to get to the recording studio. Like Phoebe on Friends. Wanna find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Come on, Billy. Nearly. Oh, McKenna. I like, I, I can see that though. I can see real football fans doing that. Oh, Zabanya. Oh, McKenna. I think we've got enough Lion King songs at the club. I don't think we need that one. Anyone recommend a save for me? Exclamation mark save recommendation. Uh, What other subs should we do here then to see this one out? Let's do... Uh, Dominic May off for you. Let's get the, let's get, let's get, oh, I've done all my subs. Forget about it. Forget about it. I looked again, by the way, the Venezia long sleeve home shirt is in, it was in stock, but only in like a medium. And I, and apparently they fit really small. Has anyone got the Venezia long shirt, long sleeve home? I really want it, but apparently it fits really small. Well, well, I'd much prefer it to be baggy. Oh, good, Flet. That's a good, quite good, good tackle there. Also, I'm sorry. Also, I want. I'm sorry, Linvoy Jackson. Are you for real? His name isn't even Linvoy Jackson, though, is it? It's Linval. But yes, yes. Are you for real? I never meant to make your daughter cry. Actually, any a cappella songs I cannot do. It just vo it's just voice cracks. <laughs> Old school baggy tops, exactly. And that's what I feel like that Venezia one can be with the long sleeve. Oh, he saved the penalty. No, he didn't. Did he? I swear they scored. Did they just score now? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that it was going to be to 2-2. Two -two. I thought it was 2-0 up. He just, he just saved the penalty in stoppage time to win us the game. Well done, Tom Worcester. I thought it was 2-0. Come on. He baby led the pen. I've just completely missed it because we're talking about songs <laughs> and football shirts. Brilliant. Great save. Right, we've won our first game. Nice work. Imagine bad stream. Imagine missing that. That's outrageous, isn't it? Outrageous. 
They had a 90 second minute penalty to level the game and you didn't care. I was just confident they were going to save it, really. Never in doubt, was it? I mean, they are League 2. We should definitely be beating them, but there you go. How did I also miss that? Exactly. It wasn't just me. Yeah, their keeper got the assist on the other one. Someone said that. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's quick. City fans want permanent deal struck for Ibsen Rossi. It's been one game. It's been one game. Uh, also, as an acapella song recording person myself, voice cracks are the worst. Yeah, right? <laughs> Not that I would know from an actual uh, song recording. Like, yours is a bit more serious, I think, Ollie. But yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see the penalty again? Modern football media. It is, isn't it? Sign him! That is basically Twitter. One good game. Sign him! One bad game. Sell him! This was the penalty that Worcester saved right at the end. Caught it. He caught it. <clears throat> good win. Right. I will praise him. Like I should. Yeah, he's a flop. That's basically us with Linville Jackson though, isn't it? Give me, give me, give me McKenna of Midnight was the super striker scoring all of the goals. I like it actually. It fits really nicely. Great presentation, Adam, of, of how to read that. I didn't, I, you, like you said what song it was. You, like very, it did fit really nicely, didn't it? <laughs> I think that was on Adam though and the way that he presented it. I'm being paid for mine. Thank God for Melodyne. Yeah, y yeah. Mine's slightly less, less serious, I think. <clears throat> we're never beating Vienna the Vienna thing kind of fits though doesn't it I like it we'll see I'll get in the recording studio we'll have a little mess around with stuff and uh, we'll see what happens you strike me as the kind of guy who should be hosting daytime game shows and nighttime 60s music radio shows thank you what about sort of like prime time uh, safe BBC TV shows like like you reckon, I, I reckon I could do that. Live proof that ghostwriters can really make a career. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks to Steve Wright. I reckon I could do that type of thing, yeah. I could definitely see you presenting on CBBC. There was actually a time where I thought, like, I, I've got a, I, like, I know a few people who do, like, children's presenting. And I was like, that must be, it must be quite a fun job. Actually, we're just normal men. I, 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 there was a time I was like, I reckon I could do that. That'd be, that, but... Became a teacher instead. I could actually see that as well, though. And I was like, meh. Just innocent men. Um, I, that needs to be a soundbite. That, that is just one of my favourite things ever. <laughs> B&Q extra paying dividends. Well, there is that as well, yeah. I wasn't in a B&Q advert, wasn't I, apparently? Might go to B&Q today, actually. Player, I don't think I've got it as a sound. <laughs> Yeah, it ended at the one commercial. Exclamation mark, save Rex. Archie. Yeah. Uh, all right. Come on. We've got, a, we've got our first league game in two days. Crew. The crew. <laughs> the work. Right, second round Carabao Cup. Who did the fans think we want? They want Southampton. Let's see who we get. The EFL Cup. Sponsored by Carabao. Second round. Southampton will play West Brom. Brentford will play Worcester. We've got a Premier League tie away. We're going to Brentford. Which is quite cool. That, that picture is ridiculous as well. Is that AI generated? What is that? That is the weirdest stadium photo. Is that like a... um? Is that when they were planning to build it? You know how you get like the, the blueprints for it or whatever it's called. Yeah, there's no money in this competition though, which is annoying, isn't it? How long are you going for? We'll probably go about an extra half an hour till about half one um, because we started about half an hour late. So that was my plan. And then kick off for the first game's two o'clock, right? So that's, that was probably my plan. That must be the artist's impression. You know how when they release like the stadium plans, it's like the like those ones. It must be that, right? Less capa capacity than the sex, exactly. Right, we've got crew next. I'm actually... I didn't rest the team away from home. This is going to show our credentials, I think. Oh, it's 4.30, the first kickoff. Oh, bloody hell. We've got, we got, we got time. It's new oh, there's a late game, isn't there? Oh, look, we've got a bid. 
This is good. I'm just going to accept it. Millwall. 37k for Vontae Williams. Done deal. Um, done deal. Can I change this one to a... No, I can't. Just reject that then. 37k. Let's offer him out for 40 and just see. McKenna's set to sign. I've just seen it. I didn't see it before. Um... Can't do the Queen's voice after Sausage Fingers gets crowned. It wasn't the Queen. It, well, unless you count Judith Chalmers as the Queen. It was Judith Chalmers, though. I love how that is never now explained. When there's a draw, I just read it in that voice. McKenna waits for you. He does wait for us. 500k. <laughs> 500k. We are spending everything we own on this guy. But we are signing Billy the Kid. Which is also what exactly what the what the, the media would call him. That is a lot of pennies. For a club that has 1.6 million, to spend a third of it on one guy, probably not a good financial decision until he gets us to the Prem. Welcome, Billy McKenna. The start of a legend. Hey, Billy, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Billy. Ha, ha, hey, Billy. Look at that. Down to 1.1. At least we had the money in the bank. He looks good, though. He does look good. Can't wait for him to score a hat-trick, then do his ACL. Probably going to happen. You can also play right mid. Welcome to Billy McKenna. Heads up about Judge. Um, Dan, can you sort this out? All right, thanks for that, Danny. Just said no. Is he top earner? Yeah, I think so. I didn't promise him top earner, though, did I? Match top earner. All right, we don't need to talk about it right now. That's good. Dan does hate his job, doesn't he? He's like, I am not doing that. The way his name just looks like Ken on the shirt because of the white stripes. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Billy Ken McKenna. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do we give Billy? Do we give Billy a face? Now, this is actual, an actual question. We don't know Billy just yet, and I can generate it right now. Shall I generate a real-life face for Billy McKenna? Or shall I do it anyway? I can do it on my phone, and we can then choose, decide if we want to give him one. Because we don't know him yet, I feel like this kind of makes, it makes a bit of sense. Then call him Ken. We're not calling him Ken. <laughs> Billy Bear ham face thoughts. No. Um, let's try it. What what prompt shall I do for this? I usually use... There's a few things that I use to get them. I did... Re oh, chat. I really tried to get a uh, judge to have to see what a judge face would look like. And uh, it did not work. <laughs> he needs a flat cap. He kind of does. I put in like judge's wig and then i worked out that a judge's wig is called a perude the the actual barrister wig uh, i tried to get that i tried to get mid journey to do it and it just came up with this so if i turn down the brightness i think you can see it better it just came up with this it didn't really work did it but it just gave him a judge it just gave him the judge's clothes on <laughs> he looks haunted right let's try Timothy Chalamet, it kind of does, doesn't it? Bottom right is terrifying. It actually is. Let's see what we can get then. For a face for Billy McKenna. He's Irish. We need to make sure that that goes into it somewhere. Right. Um, imagine. I love mid-journey. It's really quite addictive, actually, isn't it? Very detailed headshot from there. Keeping all the head and there's of a 20-year-old... Mid uh, footballer. What? How would you describe his hair? Spiky. Doesn't have any facial hair, does he? Does have strong eyebrows. Billy Bear McKenna. No. Nope. I think he, I think we should give him a slight smile because he's Billy and he's happy. Need 90s Beckham hair. Um, I mean, we could give him 90s Beckham hair. Spiky with an off-center parting. 
Yes. Let's say that. He did that. With. Let's see what the first set comes out like. And if it's good, then we'll go with it. If not, maybe we'll do this and I can see if I can find a good one. Full perm. No. <laughs> Let's see what this comes out like, keeping it quite sensible to start with. We've, uh, it's, it's, it's doing it now. We've had players with mints for glasses, but we draw the line at ham in the shape of a bear. <laughs> Why can't we just put Billy Bear ham on his face? It'll be like Marv the Mint. <laughs> Shave Ken in the side of his head. No. I'm not sure any of these look like Billy McKenna yet. Although they've not fully developed yet, but we'll see. <clears throat> he needs to look he looks like quite an old school striker doesn't he he looks like he's from the past double standards are unreal i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> although actually i don't hate it one the bottom left one when i show you in a second i don't hate it can i put irish does that change like his like how he's gonna look we're nearly done 93 percent Billy's eyes look like he's seen some trauma. He kind of does, doesn't he? Right, chat. These are the ones that we've got. I'm not sure they look any... Like a late 90s, early 2000s striker. Yeah, I don't know how we get that across in mid-journey. These are the options that I've got now. I dropped my phone. <laughs> it's, it's still plugged in and it, it got stuck. Um, these are the options. I don't hate bottom right. They're all a bit, they all look a bit too, streamer fails, that was ridiculous, wasn't it? If I killed the stream there. Why'd you throw your phone at me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Bottom right, but, well, this, this, this one, this one I don't hate. Two bottom ones are the best, yeah, I think the other ones look a bit too, I don't know. They, they don't look very Irish. Top left scores goals, they do. They look too innocent. Yeah, I said a, a slight smile, but I'm not sure that is a slight smile. Oh, turn the brightness up again. Not sure that is a slight smile. Bottom right, sorry. Is that, please, sorry, may I have a bottom left? Is it that one you mean, or is it the other one? They look like they play for the Ted Lasso team. They kind of do, don't they, as well? Yeah. I can do, I can try it again and see again. What changes would I make to the prompt then? Maybe get the thing. Maybe add the term alcoholic. What about like pasty complexion? <laughs> is that a way to put it in there? Because it is kind of Oliver Twist bottom right. Yeah, it is a bit Oliver Twisty. Let's try it. Let's try again and see what happens. Uh, I quite like doing this. It is fun, isn't it? Mm. Hey. None of them look like Xavier yet. Needs a mohawk. I'm not yet. Needs a smirk. With a slight... Slightly happy expression. Maybe rather than smile. He does, they look a bit too serious, don't they? How to design your ideal striker with clates, yeah. None of them are screaming Ken yet. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'll show you him again. I've, got, I've started another one. Let's see what these ones come out like. They, off, they did kind of do the hair, right? You need a wider face, maybe. This is what it's like taking a suggestion from your class. Now, this is way below the suggestions I get from my class. So you're not cultured enough to get the police, so may I have another ref um, reference? Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't see that reference. Please, sir, can I have some more? I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Of course I would have got it. But I'm right. It's just if Oliver Twist and Charles Leclerc. He does look like Charles Leclerc, actually, doesn't he? He does. By the way, the F1 tonight should actually be quite interesting after yesterday's qualifying, right? Oh, he's got longer hair now. He's definitely more white. You could get your class to draw player faces. I could. Uh, there's a few times that I've been thinking, um, like, things I could get my class to do, but I'm just not sure. Okay, I don't mind some of these. They look young. I don't mind giving him slightly longer hair either. What do you reckon of these then, chat? He looks like he's in a very dark room, does this one.
I don't, when you say top right, top left, I need to think. Remember, it's it's backwards for me, isn't it? But what do we think of those ones? Top left, which is this one, right? Man of bottom right, which is why is it not now focusing? This one. The cheekbones that are the problem. They're too. The cheekbones are too strong, aren't they? The che are they too strong? Both are both. I think the top ones look like they're 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 like uh, like British or Irish. Do you want ears or not, left or right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> top left is closest. Top left is this one. Do we? Do we? Are we? I don't hate top left. You know. He looks like he'd score goals for us. This, let me make it bigger and see. Are we agreeing? Did lots of people say top left? Both of the top are right. Puff the mountain will be good. Yeah. Top left bangs. This one. This one. I got the brightness up again. This is probably not the best. Me holding my phone up is probably not the best way to do this, isn't it? Top right looks uh, Italian. Yeah, I get that. This guy. I think he looks a bit like Billy McKenna. And I think he would score goals. Can I see less of a jawline? Can I... What does the V do? Let me get some... Uh, I can make variations of that one. Let me do variations of that one and just see if it gets more slightly bigger cheekbones. Because I think they're pro both pretty good. I've... Right, can I do less of a... I'm going to put the exact same prompts in and see if I can do less. This will be the last time and then I think we go with that one. I like it. Less. How can I even say that? Less cheekbones. <clears throat> is a Brill Cream advert. Yeah, it kind of is. Yep. Um... Rounded face? I've said rounded face. <laughs> Slightly chubbier cheeks? I don't know if like Mid Journey reacts to that very well. I've done, so I've done some variations of that top one. Look, these are the variations. They're very, very similar. But do any of them have like slightly more? Do any of them jump out as slightly more, more appropriate? I've also asked for wider cheeks. I'm happy with any of them. They're all better than the one he has now. This is true. Sounds like you're on a data, data camp. Can I say that? <laughs> all right. So I've asked for the rounder cheeks and that none of them have rounder cheeks. I don't think anyway. I reckon. Let's do, should we do it now? Should we do live admin and put his face in? I need to remove. I need to go on Discord and go and get the image. Let's do some live admin. I'll go to the game as well. Slightly chubby. <laughs> Bottom right's face looks like it's fallen off. Um, yeah. These look these look very Italian. These the guys that I've done it on with the chubbier cheeks. Uh, when he breaks his leg, it's gonna be legendary. It's actually gonna be really depressing. No cheekbones will be like just like a gloop. Like, I'm not sure that's really what we. Although this guy doesn't have any cheekbones, so maybe that's it. Although I actually quite like it, but he does look Italian. I found this. I got this. This guy just came up, but he does look Italian. <laughs> There's definitely not a slightly happy face that he's got there, but. Oh, well, how do you even put these custom faces in? So I remove the background from them, first of all. Then I oh, I've gone on the wrong thing. Then I, I then you create a. A, a document file, a, an image file that you put into your custom, put into the graphics folder, and then from there you put the correct number in and you load it into the game in the config files. Does any of that make sense? Because that that's what you do. I'm just going to remove the background from this guy. His number is... Two th someone's going to write this in the chat for me. You can see it there. 2002 
150936. If you write in the chat, I can just copy and paste it. Steven's probably already done it. I'm not looking at the 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 chat right now. He usually does it very quickly. All right, let's put that there. Let's open the custom faces, which is there. Graphic. Uh, let's open one of you. When he breaks his leg first game and when he's terrible, this is going to be really embarrassing. But uh, right, that's there. Thank you to... Thank you, Ollie. Well done. Right. Then I've got a, a software called FMXML, which writes your config files for you for FM, which is really useful because it means you don't even have to go and edit the config files and change the, the, the numbers and things on there. You just throw it all in and it will do it for you, which is good. Um... And then they'll do that. And then that should be that. If I go here and clear the cache and reload the skin, our new Billy McKenna should have a new face. You're here again. How you doing, Mortison? Need Ken to be his middle name. We kind of do, don't we? <clears throat> Give him a Charles Dickens-esque beard and all good. <laughs> right. Let's see. Let's see him in all his glory. Him and Judge and Judge looking as ridiculous is going to be so silly. There he is. Billy McKenna scores, also known as Ken. Welcome to the game, Billy. <laughs> what a player. What a player. Future legend of this club. Um, did I actually welcome him and everything I did? William Kenneth McKenna. On the one show today, we are testing out a new dating app. What shall I... What do we, we use advanced forwards? Do you reckon he can do advanced forwards? I reckon he can. Let's get him training as that. Send the right. He's in for the for the first league game as well. We all know what today's raid word is going to be. Ken. <laughs> can I loan this Elias? That's where we always loan a player called Elias or Elias. Probably should have done. These should have been our our backup centre back. Maybe not. Do I now, when Mackenzie goes, I do need to look for a goalkeeper, don't I? That's the other thing. Let's go and play this game. I love how we just spent ages doing admin. We've done so much admin today. Today's stream has been really, really chill. It's been good. Elias Chair. <clears throat> Leonie's going to be very happy. Uh, why? Did, did, have Boreham Wood scored? Or something. Or have they won? How, how many minutes are in are we? They are... They have scored. 2-0 <laughs> up versus Notts County. Jesus. And Notts actually going to bottle... Is, this, is it one leg, the semifinals? Or is it two? If Notts don't go up now, is it one or two legs, these semifinals? He means everything to me. Oh, McKenna. One leg and they're 2-0 up at Notts County. That is wild. And Boreham Wood could make it to the final. If the final... The final's at, at Wembley. Do, do you want to go? Does anyone want to go? We'll just go with Leone. Who's, who's in? Who's in? Right. Billy McKenna. <laughs> Would have finished 35 points behind. It's not Wembley, is it not? Oh, is it not? It is Wembley. I thought it would be, right? Surely. They do like the FA Vars there, right? The next Saturday as well. I didn't realise it was that soon. Wow. Um, go get a goal for me. Will do. I'll try to. Let's get Billy McKenna to lead the line with Judge. I'm going to play Judge. Who's got the better left foot, actually? Who He's got a reasonable left foot. Judge has got a reasonable left foot. Right. So let's let's put McKenna in the most effective one. That's Ultravox. <laughs> oh, McKenna. Right. We need to put you on the bench. In fact, we need to put you on the bench and then you go there. You go there. That, I had memories of Hereford at Leicester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though, that since since the new Wembley's been built, it, it was always going to be. But yeah, that was. That was at the Walkers, wasn't it? Um. All right. McKenna starts. Please be good. 
<laughs> First league game of our new season in League One, then. Let's get into it. Come on. Did I completely miss Will's resub as well, by the way? Hi, Will. Thank for the 32 months. Of just I feel like I didn't even mention that. Thank you, mate. I think I was... Yeah, sorry. We, we love you, Will. Thank you, mate. Uh, this red injury going to hit hard. It's going to make for a really good short, though. So remember that. It'll make for a really good TikTok. But it's Will, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Right. Crew on the attack down the right-hand side. Pond clears. Ajaria win that. No, he didn't. We've won it back. Lado. McKe Why are you so deep? Look how deep he comes to get the ball. He started this attack. Gets to the back post. He's there. Judge is there. What is that finish? That was so bad. Nick. E. Af. Ro. Nicky, thank you very much for the 26 months. What a legend. How are you, my friend? Hope you're good. Uh, other than yourself and Jared Bowen, are there any other celebrities from Hereford? Pav. There's um, Ellie Golding. 1323. Yes, I saw a great video of... Uh, it was I think it was like Sport Bible interviewing um, Jared Bowen. They were like, so what's in Hereford then? He was just like, fields mainly. And like, I used to do a bit of farming. I was like, yeah, brilliant. Representation on the... On the global, on the on the nationwide scale, there he's talking about how there's just fields, <laughs> cider. There is plenty of that. Yep. Yeah. Fiorini, Samuels, Samuels, Pen. No, good tackle. Judge, Panada, Lado, wide. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follows, by the way. Ray, Ratio Mush and Blue Santa. Thank you. He didn't mention Clates. He didn't mention it, but maybe one day. Cyrus the Virus has scored for Millwall. We're playing okay. I don't know where crew are predicted to finish, but we're, we're away from home and competing quite nicely here. McKenna, Judge, I think he was offside. It's going to be saved anyway. He was offside. Judge was offside. Not even McKenna. I thought they, maybe they both were. McKenna's on a 7.3, by the way. We are, he hasn't even had a chance yet, but he's, his like, facilitating of the other players looks really good in that... Oh, God, that's horrible. In that uh, Sheringham role is what we want from him, isn't it? Judge loses it. Not great, mate. Got it back. Nice. Fiorini. Was that Judge with left footed again? It might have been. Lado. That's crap. Oh, my God. Look at the break that's on now. From Lado's rubbish cross and now he's out of position. They're going to go down the... L oh, good tackle. Oh, God's sake. Keeper. Okay. Oh, what have you done? Good save. What have you done there? Tom Worcester. Don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> Left foot not that reasonable. Yeah, exactly, Carlson. I see what you mean now. Adam swap positions. I don't know if I want to. Maybe. Because it's judged that we want to finish them. Let's try it. <clears throat> Little one-two from Worcester. Yep. The judge is down at a 6.4. Let's try it. You mean, do you mean like in game, like back and forth? The thing with that is it always seems broken to me, the swap positions thing. And they are just constantly, constantly swapping positions, which is just like annoying. They've scored. We had to take a couple of those chances, I think. They've scored. Jackson McKenna judge, maybe. We could do that now, though, now that we need a goal. We could absolutely push on a striker now. I don't know if I always want to start it, but now is a good time to do it. Because Jackson just comes in here on the left. McKenna in the middle, judge to the right. Every 12 minutes-ish, yeah. I think if it wasn't quite as often, I think it'd be useful, but a bit too... I think it's more... I, think, I feel like it's even more than that. <clears throat> it doesn't work quite... I don't know. When I've used it, it hasn't quite worked. Um, let's do McGonagall for just fresh legs in midfield. I'm going to do Dalton as well. Let's get fresh legs in this midfield. JMJ. Yeah, that's like a new mop that you can buy. <laughs> All right. Can we get ourselves back in this? No, it's a chance for them. Can we break? McKenna. Okay. Headed it straight to them. Back to three strikers. The world is right. Yeah, there is that. Not good. Demand more. 
They're playing 4-4-2. Judge is on a 6.2. I think we actually have to take him off. Let's do Allen. Come on, Billy. We need you to do something now, then. Here's Callum Allen, Lado, Jackson. Oh, it's a good effort. Can't lose to a team sponsored by Kazoo. This is this it, that 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 is part of the problem here. Fiorini, good. Dalton. I think that surely was the highlight for this. That was the chance for this highlight, but we'll see. McKenna's challenging. We've got it back again. Allen, back post. Oh, it's close. McKenna! Debut goal! It's been gifted to him. But oh McKenna! 1-1. One, one. Come on. Debut goal from him. I don't know what their defender's doing. He plays it to him and he just taps it in. But he means everything. He means everything to me. He is everything to me. Yeah, I'm trying to work out how we can get different words in there. Oh, McKenna. He does. Already. Big Billy. Big Bill. Um, I've done four subs already. I feel like I can do one more, right? Let's get Fletting Agent on in midfield to see if he can do something. <laughs> I might swap those, actually. Let's do Professor McGonagall going forward as well. The drum bits and synth in that song, it could be good, couldn't it? He's the top goal scorer for me. Mm. He's different, Gravy. Oh, McKenna. There you go. Flett. <laughs> the only bare ham face for me. Oh, McKenna. Alan, is he onside? McKenna's in there. Find him. McKenna. Oh, he's gone down. Ref. Is he good at pens? I'd like to hope so. What's his penalty taking? Six. Right. <laughs> less, less good. Than I was hoping for. Okay, it's gone wide. <clears throat> Can we find a winner late on or do we take a nice draw to start? We could find it here. McGonagall. Ibsen Rossi's headed over. Stacy. Stacy. He scores every goal for me. There is nothing to me. He is different, Gravy. Oh, McKenna. He's the striker for me. Oh, McKenna. McKenna! Alan! How are you not winning that? You're six foot nine or something. They're on the break. That's a good ball. They're going to break my heart. Good tackle. They've won it back, though. This is surely a goal. Good save, Tom Worcester. I think he's just saved us a point there. That looked... The, the missed tackle and everything, that looked nailed on to be a goal, didn't it? Did you like the, the heart reference, by the way? He's going to break our heart because it was heart. Uh, comedy. Okay, a minute to go. We're going to take a draw. I'm actually okay with that. We've got a debut goal for Big Bill. 8.2 from Big Bill as well. Is he going to get a call up for Ireland? Got three under 21 caps, so maybe. Um, huge tackle from the cat. Yeah, <laughs> Professor McGonagall. I think we take that. That's all right. Is VAR only Premier League? Uh, it should be, yeah. It should be. McKenna scores on Worcester debut. He does. You can be our hero, Billy. You can. We need to improve our, our training facility so that actually he keeps developing. He's already close to his potential, but I want him to keep going. One in one, though, for Big Bill. And we're still, we aren't going to get, we've played a league game. We're still not going to get numbers. Do the other teams have numbers? Nope. They don't have numbers either. Do Premier League teams have numbers? Because that's probably when we'll get them. No. Good. So we just don't have numbers in this game. That's annoying, isn't it? That is annoying. What about other leagues? Oh, if we go to Spain, they'll have numbers. <clears throat> they ne there's always something. Every one of these databases, there's always something. Uh, all right. 
Whatever. <clears throat> Hudson Adoy at Barca. Yeah, he's quite good in FM, isn't he? All right. Do we, I think, probably leave it there for today. It's flown by today, but we've done just about our three hours. I'm going to stream tomorrow, chat. Um, so we're going to do 10 a.m. ish in the morning, depending on how basically cat's really ill as well. So I'm a little bit under the weather, but cat is like wiped out um, with this weird like cold that is real sore throat. I had a massive headache when I first had it and then just so bunged up full of cold. So cats are like really bad at the moment. So I'm doing a, like stuff for that, which is why there's no stream yesterday, but I'll stream tomorrow. So if we're a little bit late, it's because of needing to take Lenny out and doing stuff like that. But um, we're going to stream tomorrow morning in the morning. Like, should be no excuse not to have it with creators. I know, right? It's, yeah. Took me a while to find out uh, where you do it, but I figured it out. Oh, for the numbers. Have you sorted it? Do you manage to sort it? What's been promoted to La Liga just to have squad numbers? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've had a ridiculous call for the last five odd, odd days. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of people have had it. And it's really weird, isn't it? It's lasted now. I've had still, like, some symptoms for it. But, like... Nearly two weeks. Nearly two weeks. I think I had a ridiculous headache. It was a Monday and I had a day off work because I went to work on the Monday and just could not do anything and then came home from work and slept for like... I, I slept from like 5 until 10 and then obviously didn't sleep at all that night. So I didn't go to work on the Tuesday and then... It could just be that lynchy, yeah. And then it's still still going. Like I still have days where I'm like, I feel awful. Get a temperature on Monday night, yeah. So I don't know, I feel like it's some, it's like quite common and a lot of people having it at the moment. It's not COVID either because you do a COVID test and it's not, so weird. <laughs> you were cooking, yeah. Uh, how you doing, Ren? I'm good, thank you, buddy. We're just going to go, actually. It's just going to be the end of the stream, but I hope you're well, my friend. How did you find Lee's yesterday? Bit of big Sam Long ball game. <laughs> are you staying up? I still think maybe you're going to struggle. Your games are horrible. Plus said, yeah, exactly. The, uh, the World uh, Health Organization said COVID is over, so that's good. Right, chat. I think we're going to leave it there for today. I'm going to drop a save on here. Erta Lodger. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for all the resubs today. We've got Erta Lodger, Nikki, uh, Will, NUFC, uh, 2711, uh, Hubzilla, MJ, Bill, Dakota Gifted One, Golden Brady, James, Jack, Skilly, Beyond, EJ. Loads of resubs. What a bunch of legends you all are. Let's um, let's see who's live on the old twitch.tv and we can send a raid over on this lovely Sunday afternoon. I assume Matt's live. Are we going to just go to Matt's stream and just say Ken and, until he doesn't realise what's going on? I assume that's going to happen, right? That's it's usually what we do, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, Matt's still live. I think he goes, he stays live until about three, right? On a Sunday. We might as well. We love Matt. He's a good guy. He's good people. So uh, go over there and uh, watch him for a little bit because, you know, it'll be good. Right. Join the raid. Do cap capital letters Ken is what we're going to say to him. And he'll be like, why are you saying that? And I'll get you a guy at so ready so that you can share it with him. And then you can work out why he's called Ken. Um... Because I'll put the the his his the uh, the profile of his page on, and you'll be able to see why he's called Ken. Capital letters Ken. Let me get you that guy atso. Then we'll go over there. Is it going to load? Did I do a guy atso, or did I do a normal thing? I can't ever remember what the, the oh that's a, I didn't. I just did a normal screenshot. <clears throat> there you go. You heard the sound. There you go, chat. You can copy and paste that to him and show him that in a bit. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a massive pleasure as always. It's been a load of fun. Really, really chilled. Really good. It's flown by, actually. It feels like it's gone really quickly. Have a lovely time in that stream. Catch you tomorrow morning. Extra replacement stream on the bank holiday. So I'll see you then. Have a lovely rest of your Sundays. Bye-bye. Um,